Hello. Uh, how's everybody doing? How's it going? Uh, I saw people in the chat actually talking. How's it going, in <laughs> Uh, I'm, I've got a, I do have a confession to make. I have never watched Heroes. I don't know anything. I I know very little about the show. I watched a bunch of clips from it before uh, streaming today. Oh, game audio is still tad loud. Okay, let me, let me fix that. Am I am I audible? Am I not audible? Yeah. How's how's Tony sounding? How is Tony sounding? How's Tony? How's Tony? I sound lovely. Oh, thank you, Bro Champ. You're the best. We we, we stand Bro Champ in this house. Yeah. Oh, the Saint Nico Champ. Probably. Like, oh, oh, oh. Okay. What are we playing? Uh, today I'm playing. Uh, I can get the fucking things to work. Um, <gasps> Hero That's Gemini. Neat. Heroes Reborn. Oh, thanks so much for making our pronouns. Uh, I they them. Oh, she, her. Uh, I think that's most of my guess, actually. Uh, we, we might be having, we might be joined later by uh, Kyle, K-L-S-W-S-K. Uh, is he him? Maru uh, is likely not joining, but if she does, she, her, and Merit might join. Who's also a she, her. A, and she, her. <laughs> Uh, how's the audio sound now, chat, by the way? I don't know why, like, every game I ever run on my computer runs so fucking loud. I have to put it at, like, 10 on my mixer so that it doesn't just blow everyone's ears out. Ooh. Better? Alright, I can, I can, I can put it down further. To, like, an 11. Maybe up my volume? Yeah, that probably makes sense. I just also, like, I don't want to be drowning out Tony is the problem, so I have to, like, manually do the game more than the guests. You could drown me out. I'm okay with that. How do I sound now? How do I sound versus to game? Versus to game and to Tony. To game, to game and the Tony. Perfect. Good. Good. Excellent. That is good. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Stand, uh, I stand. I stand a chat that helps you with your audio levels. That's I like, feel like the best. It, I literally every stream because like every game I play has to have some like weird different audio settings set up for it to, to actually be like audible. I'm just gonna start starting games at like like a three, <laughs> and then I'll just move up. Like people cannot people not hear it. I'll just turn the game up from there. Yeah, I'm. Uh, here we go. This image like is how I feel every time I'm I run a stream, and then like. The chat helps me with uh, uh, with the audio levels. <laughs> like literally, this feeling. <laughs> I owe you my life. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Magic online sound effects. I do love, I love that idea. I love that as a concept. Uh, let me close that. Hi, Gertrude. Oh yes, I love I love these uh, weird lamb being this weird lamb uh, man the other guy looks fine the other that's just how people look <laughs> that but is the lamb people, man yes. the lamb man is what's fucked up oh gertrude thank you for subscribing yay <laughs> there's uh, a no. button on i like how there's a button on the message like when you're a mod there's a button on the message that someone subscribed with like ban them <laughs> 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 <That's an option. laughs> subscribe not on my watch ban <laughs> 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 Just sabotage my entire chat, Jesus. <laughs> oh, magic on. Oh, okay. Built in sound effects for that. Um, so, a thing I've, I'm now discovering, because I played this game like earlier this week to, to check it out, um, to like see if it would be fun to stream, uh, is that it doesn't actually give you a new game option. <laughs> it's literally just resume. Or I can load from like the first chapter again. <laughs> Who is my favorite in the original Tira series? I never watched it, so from a bunch of clips I watched online, I like the cheerleader who can get hit by a car and be fine. Hero, 
who's the guy who can uh, control time, and I think he's like a nerd who works in an office, and he and his friends. It's funny that. because I just watched this show, so I, I know everything. <laughs> oh shit! What what can you tell me about this show? Because I know nothing. <laughs> um. Okay, it's boring. Um. The. <laughs> yeah, there's no way to do that. There's no way to just delete games. Sorry, go on. <laughs> I think. Um, I think it's one of the like it it. It, it has aged not super well, but I think partially because a lot of shows that came after it kind of learned from it. Um, that's that's sort of what I was assuming, was that yeah, it, was, it, it was one of those shows that just like kind of was riding that initial wave of like lost prestige plus soft yeah, sci-fi elements. Yeah, exactly. But it was I mean, like, like one of the first know, ones. I, th I think that um, I think that like. For example, what was the the prison show? Prison Break. No, no, like Six Feet Under, and then there was the other the prison oh, show. Oh, Oz. Oh yeah, yeah, Six Feet Under and Oz. I feel like uh, how how far apart were those shows to Heroes? Those was, was a while before, right? Yes, because I feel like that was like because like it used to be that premium. It was that whole like it's not TV, it's HBO. Like HBO kind of pioneered the like whoa, these TV shows are, are like movies that you watch in 40-minute yeah, yeah. increments. Yeah, I feel like uh, I feel like Heroes kind of took that to like the next level with regards to uh, like you like the show would just like focus one entire episode on like two characters, for example, and then they would give you like a little bit of what's going on with some of the other ones and stuff like that. And just kind of felt like the format of that was like a little tighter than maybe what Oz and Six Feet Under and those shows like had to offer. Yeah, um, that makes sense. Well, like still having like a whole bunch of different plot lines that were all ultimately converging towards one another. And they even told you, like another thing that was really interesting about Heroes was that they kind of told you how it ends at the very beginning. With the, um, is that the save the cheerleader, save the, sh the world thing? Yeah, and then there's like an explosion in New York, which like is not a spoiler. You find out in the first episode. It's not like <laughs> it's like the first scene. Like, um, so they do that. That like I don't know. That like is a horror. Like the mystery trope of like showing you like the ending. First, oh kind yeah, of. like an in media res kind of thing where it's like they yeah. show you like kind of right near the end, like climactic things. Yeah, they show you the 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 ending basically, and then you start from the beginning and you have to kind of figure out how it's going to get to that point um so i don't know i, I really like that we, uh or, yeah i watched it with uh i watched it with bear uh recently because he had never seen it and i've been kind of trying to show him a bunch of stuff since he's like a bear from the forest so he's uh, never seen things yeah so okay. I'm, I'm making him watch death note which we're pretty far into now um and yeah so i made him watch heroes and yeah it's interesting it's actually really interesting to watch now it is slower to watch than i was expecting like those those episodes are an hour like those are yeah yeah they're long no the pacing <laughs> on a lot of those was was a lot slower yeah and they think. they could have been like half hours like they really could have been like there is a lot of time in heroes like and I think it's actually really good, especially for the time. But there is still a lot of time in Heroes where like people are s sitting around or standing around like in a diner or whatever, and they're like not speaking. And I'm just sitting there like, can this scene happen, please? <laughs> like there's just so much like empty space being filled uh, in the show all the time, uh, which is weird given that it's a show that, with like a million characters that all that have you know, superpowers. Have yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like I feel like it's it's kind of like um, Game of Thrones is kind of the closest thing I can relate it to, uh, because it doesn't have nearly as much care as many characters as Game of Thrones, but it has I'm that sure sort of like there's all these different elements and they all exist in the same world and you have to figure out how they're going to interact. With them. Then why are we? Uh, and that's kind of what makes the show interesting because it's not like. Um, you know, the sh it isn't. Oh, the people not talking. even a bit. Oh, you can, you can, you can keep talking. This here's the thing about the dialogue. Having, having watched this, I can't skip it, and it's bad. <laughs> I can't, it's, it's, nice. Guess we'll have to climb up and over. Uh, this guy we'll sucks. Climb up and over. Yeah. We can get through here. Wait, are these supposed to be heroes characters? Really don't have so further, this right? is the tie-in game for Heroes Reborn. <sighs> Which was the oh, no. reboot for Heroes that they tried to do a couple of years ago, like twenty, like 2015, 2016. Oh no! Uh, and then they made two tie-in games that are like different characters. Like these aren't even characters in the show. Heroes Reborn. Uh huh. Uh, he's teaching me how to look. 
There oh, good. You can look now. Nice. It, it's literally like you have now unlocked the ability to to look, and then later it'll be like you have now unlocked the ability to walk. Uh, <laughs> well, I guess you know you gotta crawl before you, know, you can, I can run. Always yeah. Tell when you're making things up. Okay. Okay. Guilty as charged. Uh, but yeah, these this, this I got a little bit into it, and I was like, oh, this this writing is. Not good. How could I not be? Would you rather <laughs> watch Heroes or Smallville? Tony can answer if she wants. Oh, fuck. I would actually love to revisit Smallville because I only ever watched it in pieces because it was a mom soap opera show. And so I my never mom actually it. saw Smallville. Oh, really? It, it was like... It was like the, the, the start of the CW taking intellectual properties and making like weird dramas about them thing. Hey, I can yeah, I rock. think someone, yeah, I feel like, I, oh, is that Superman? Yeah, Smallville yeah. was the, the Superman one. I, I remember someone in my house watching it, but I never actually watched it because I was like, I don't have time for this. But I mean, to be fair, most sitcoms and stuff like that, I there's like a certain, I don't know, there's a certain aesthetic, but as soon as I see it, I'm like, oh, this is like for people who are looking for things to do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the main thing I remember about it was like Teen Lex Luthor was, I guess, like a, like that, like, that, ooh, he's a bad boy, but it's like, no, he's just like a rich asshole. There's a team the OC... like Luther, what, is he Billy Corgan? Like what? Yeah, no, like basically he's Billy Corgan. There, there is in fact a a a team like Luther. There. Also, to be fair, this was before the CW was the CW. This was when it was like WB. Remember when CW was like three different networks? Because it used to be, I think, WB and UPN and something else, and now it's the mm -hmm. CW. Let's see. Um, the OC was not CW. The OC was Fox. Now because really Fox was know trying Jeff... to was trying to revive uh, like '90s teen dramas. Now I want to know what Jeff Bezos looked like as a teen. <laughs> oh man, because <laughs> that's a teen Lex Luthor, right? That's like, that's yeah. Like... I mean, Jeff Bezos is just Lex Luthor. He's just Lex Luthor, which is amazing. <laughs> Although, well, if, if Jeff Bezos is Lex Luthor, I mean, he looks the part. Does what does that make Peter Thiel? The guy who like created an ocean fortress to harvest the blood of the of of like third world country youth. Well, and like the thing about Peter Thiel is that his bit is he just buys things up, so he'd be like, um, he'd he'd be like that rich princess from the Powerpuff Girls, who just like would buy other villains. Oh, maybe maybe Kingpin from Spider Man. Oh yeah. This is this is me accidentally revealing that I actually know a little bit about superheroes because I, I used to like Spider Man a lot as a kid. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's embarrassing. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I never. Despite my never my st my staunch anti superhero thing comes from the fact that I used to like superheroes as a kid. <laughs> I can't get into here superheroes, and that's it. I mean, I don't really actually judge anyone for liking them, and I don't I don't I don't know if people like them, cool, and if people like their Marvels and DCs and whatever. That's fine. Like, you, I don't know. You can go outside and, like, rocks for all I care. It's totally okay with me. But um, I just could never get into that stuff. And I think a lot of it is just, like, I have very limited time when it comes to um, media. Like, I, I do a lot of stuff. And so it's really hard for me to get into stuff where there's, like, it just feels like there's, like, a whole universe of stuff for me to go through. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, I, yeah, I think I have, like, a little bit of anxiety about, like, getting into something and being, like, oh, there's this, like, whole thing. Here. And I think that's exciting for some people, right? Like they they have like this whole world to explore theoretically, and I'm just like, oh, I'm I'm too busy. I, I I think for me as a kid, the reason I was like into that stuff was because it meant that like, honestly, what it meant is that I could buy like cheapo comics at thrift stores and stuff, and like be engaging with this universe. Like it was the thing where it's like I never was into it, where it's like, oh, I'm into this and I know all the lore. It was like, oh, there's so much lore that I could just kind of fucking pick up whatever I want. <laughs> there's there's yeah. no like oh i need to get these like if i really want to be into this thing i need to pick up like these three things specifically it could just be like i like spider-man i'm gonna watch the sam raimi movies and the cartoon show that was on uh kids w not kids wb fox kids hey check out these dope smart glasses a bunch of renatus employees were picked to feel oh yeah so we have google glasses in this game oh good what year was this game 
2015. Hey. I, think. I know I asked that question a lot, but I feel like whenever you're playing old games, that's like super relevant just because of like, I'm always curious what, what was around at the time. Old games always wear their era like super, super oh. tightly, like super oh, so obviously. Super so. Let me see, Han. Je here is Gemini. Because I know the game takes place in 2015. Look at me for a few seconds. Or 2014, but I don't remember when the game was really 2016. These glasses totally ID'd you. It uplinks to the cloud. Bro, these glasses totally ID'd you. They totally ID you. Oh my god. Do you think they thought that Google Glasses was gonna be like a thing? It's it's such a it's a, it dates this game so quickly that they thought Google Glasses was gonna be a thing. <laughs> it was made in the two weeks when people thought Google Glasses was like a real thing that would be used it was like yeah like that month when if you went down to san francisco yeah like you would see people just wearing them kind of freaking amazing i remember using a google glass thing and being like oh my god this thing sucks ass yeah <laughs> just like wow this wow this is augmenting my reality to make it worse like yeah the viewpoint was so tiny and i was like what really like i could just glance down like the viewpoint was so tiny that i could have had my phone out like at my waist and glanced down at it and it would have been more useful than using the thing hey so check this out you can just walk right up to them but they don't actually respond beyond saying a dialogue <laughs> like they don't, they say engaging ta tar target but they're not scripted to actually point a gun at you so funny <laughs> that's good yeah no i've, I've already yeah. found a few things Same. just in the opening while playing uh <laughs> that i could break in this game <laughs> engaging target will engaging you marry target. me <laughs> Guards? You said this place was deserted. My I, I like kind of hate this, this I am screen thing because it's just like here's the subtitles for the game. They're gonna take up about a about a good fifth of your screen. They're gonna take yeah take up a fifth of your screen and they're illegible. Yeah. Like they're so hard to read unless you're like staring right at them. Whereas subtitles like I know how to read subtitles quickly. Yeah. And like without thinking about doing so, you know what I mean? Like, partially just because I've been trained to do so by things with subtitles, like, not this. Yeah, no, I'm not trained to, like, look at, like, the silver and blue, uh, IM box to my, to my, right behind me. Which, which is very, very transparently overlaid over the background, and, the, like, over a background with a lot of very sharp contrasts on it. <laughs> so once they reach here, they just can't see you. <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> just, just right up on them. Can you not walk through there? No, no. They, they, they put invisible walls down to keep you from from getting in their line of sight, which the just means that they thought enough about it to be like, we should stop them from just running up in front of these oh, guys, but not enough to budget. stop me from getting close to them. How much do you think this game costs? Like. Three hundred thousand. Oh, I must have. A, I must have it open somewhere. Um, oh, did they actually have the budget? On oh, them? I forget that. Yeah, games don't publish their budget like. Yeah, I do. wouldn't. Good God. Oh God! Imagine if. Yeah, I was about to say. Imagine if if games did. People would get so freaking mad that it, you know X amount was spent instead of X amount. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. No, it's it's so. It's it's really weird Sorry, that I games. Don't mean people, I mean like gamers. No, I know, but I, that's what I was saying. It's like it's weird how games are like one of the few things that don't have the budgets like available because of how weird, like because of how weird gamers are, which leads them to like, I think have even worse understanding of how games are made than they already. Oh do. yeah, uh, I mean, I, so I work in a I work in a field that's kind of like tangential to games, uh, but it like is working with another with Who like other guys? other field entirely, and so. I, know, I constantly have situations where they're like, oh, we do this like this, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, in the game industry, we don't do that because yeah. <laughs> people are weird. And, like, it's hard to be like, the reason we do that is because the market is filled with strange people. <laughs> yeah, filled with very angry people. <laughs> we sell products who very much so love numbers. <laughs> who love we're our listen. Our audience is people who love numbers, and when numbers are bigger, they get happy. But if the numbers aren't big enough, they get really mad. Uh, anyway, they they just fucked up by giving me the ability to wall run. Uh oh. Are you gonna 
So Far I, four. I, I immediately, when they gave me this when I was testing the game earlier, immediately ran over here to try to parkour at them. Uh, they they then put an invisible wall right here, so you can't do that. Well, maybe. Unless. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, they didn't put an invisible wall there. Oh, let's see what I can. Let's see what hijinks I can get up to. Oh my god! Already, already. Oh, with the they... shenanigans. I feel like I, I, I feel almost like um, like a, like a, like someone babysitting like a troublesome child, and just like I turn my head and I'm like, oh no, what are they doing now? Oh yeah, I just, yeah, that definitely just broke the game. <laughs> can you not move around? No, I can't move because it puts me back here. <laughs> Because they saw me, which is what triggers the getting b sent back to the, like, part where you have to redo this charge mission. But the game also already knows that I'm not past that point. Do you know roughly how long this game is? Uh, four hours. Fuck, okay, everyone gonna, in the chat just, like, fucking guess, immediately. You soft off this game. I'm gonna guess this is, like, $400,000. Or, like, five hundred, Like, really low budget. Wow, that, that is low. It's right. really low, but if they if they only like use certain assets and like kept it tight, like it's doable. I don't know. Canada's was like, Jay, you've had movement for all of six seconds, and I just immediately <laughs> that's why like I said, they fucked up giving me the ability to wall jump. I mean it's interesting because like the um it seems like all these scripted are segments are like guys? really poorly made, but the um I don't know, but they are the actual sure. like model of the level is like nice. I think, like, I mean, like, <laughs> the, the you, level Justin. design, is not the level design, but rather just, like, the aesthetics. Like, the way everything looks, the models and stuff like that is is good. The yeah. levels are, like, the, the details in the levels are well-placed. There's grass, there's rocks, there's etc. Someone spent time on that. But the, uh, like, actual, like, design of the game and stuff like that seems to be kind of lacking already. It's, it, it is interesting where it doesn't have that look that, like, super cheap games normally have. Yeah, where it, it feels really like doesn't. everything is just, like, is, like, pre-packaged. Though I do wonder if maybe, like, it it was, or maybe they had they were given the opportunity to do a bunch of work on, like, this. And then they were just, like, told, like, no, actually, you have to finish this game faster now. Yeah, you know, another thing that you could theoretically do uh, when making a... Uh, licensed game. Not that that's what I do. Don't worry about what I do. But uh, don't worry about what I do. You worry about what you do. <laughs> don't worry. Yeah, you worry about you. You do. <laughs> Twitch chat. No. Um. Yeah. There you go. There, there goes go. Jay. There I go. Breaking uh, the game. <laughs> but uh, the thing you could, a thing you can do with uh, licensed games that a lot of people do is they like work on a game independently. Um, you know the studio does or whatever, right? And then they sell it around and they're like, uh, we got this. You want to turn it into, you know, Superman or whatever. <laughs> uh, and, you know, and if it's something close enough, like this could have been something. This could have been like a, like a, you know, a parkour game, right? Like this could have been someone who played Mirror's Edge and was like, I just got a good idea. It is for this new original game that's Mirror's Edge, but it's not named that. Yeah, um, it's Mirror's Edge, but I, I can't I can't get my foot in the door there. Yeah. Um, and. So like it could have been that, right? And then they took it, shopped it around, and then someone was like, "Oh, we've got this franchise that you know needs a thing." Am I am I am I showing how the sausage is made like too much? There's no, like, I think that's no. I, here's the thing: I love to know how the sausage is made. Okay, okay. I just always worry. Like I don't. Well, yeah, you do. I know you do. I've dished them. Yeah. <laughs> stuff, but like I don't know. I don't want to. I don't know. Maybe for the gamers, the gamers out there, I don't want to. I don't want to break any hearts. Oh, I think I outpaced him. <laughs> I think I, I think I've already broken his scripting. <laughs> Aww. How yeah, you just triggered a line, so point? or are there secrets? No, that's that's a secret. It's a collectible thing. So he's supposed to show me how to jump up here, but I think because I I lapped him and didn't go the <laughs> way that he took, he's just standing over there still. So I want to see. Nightmare. I want to see if I, I can. I will get also him. say, as a person who makes video games, this is so gross. Is like when I was going to do this. <laughs> I I remember like one time when I was playing it for Robbie, Robbie was just like, you play games in the most annoying way. And I'm like, I just am yeah. given a toolbox, and the first thing I always want to do is see, can I break it? <laughs> it's funny, when people, sometimes people watch me play like certain games. So I play like certain JRPGs that I've played for like 
20 years and I'm really good at them and I know what they can do. Yeah, he's but supposed to be playing... like over here already. He's, he's, yeah. he's stuck. <laughs> Let's see if That's I can funny. trigger a cutscene. <laughs> this is funny. Oh, will the game not let me progress without him? Oh, wait, here Maybe we go. They thought, they thought ahead. I guess nope. we're doing this. No, look, 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 all his dialogue just loads in like he's been talking this whole time. This oh my great. god, you're right. It? Yeah. That was that's all of so his dialogue funny. from these scenes. <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, no, so whenever I play a new game, like a like a I don't know, a new real game, whatever, of any sort, I I play it like so like straight. Uh, and I, I just play it very like, like someone will be like, oh, try to go over there. And I'm like, no, that isn't what the game wants me to do. Yeah. <laughs> like I, play them, I play them politely. You respect like, the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm like, oh, yes, game. I will do exactly what you tell me to do. <laughs> All right. I think maybe. I don't want to be that guy. And that guy is Jay, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, uh, I'm the guy. I'm the guy who breaks the game. <laughs> I think maybe. Uh, speaking of breaking the game, that he needs to be the one to be over here to trigger the cutscene. So let's go see if I can get him <laughs> back here. Kind of husband, uh, Tim Rogers and Noah Gervais call it acting. Is that? Oh, you're acting your character. Is that when you're when you're like, be like being the character, but also like behaving like following the script of what the character does. I feel like that's the sector. Uh, Vestless. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be this bright. I don't think it is, which is why I'm like, I can't barely see my own shadow. Oh, wait, there it is. Footwork, footwork, foot, 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 footwork. Alright, let's try it. Yeah, Jay. Wow, Jay's that was. Trying to... Where is he? Did that not respawn him? Alright, let me go. Oh, no. Yeah, do you have to go all the way back? I might have to like backtrack and and get him. To yeah, I think you do have to backtrack. <laughs> You're gonna break the game again. I love breaking games. <laughs> I, he, what's funny is that this is like improv game breaking. Like I didn't, I didn't know that this game would do this. I was just like, oh, this game's like really, like really funny. Let me see if I can, if I can break it. Does this be like an AGDQ category? Yeah. Uh, awful, awful games done bad. Awful games done wrong. Is he, is he gonna, is he gonna move forward? Come on. Oh no. Oh no, he's doing a script for a different thing he's supposed to be doing. Oh no. Well, load from last checkpoint. <laughs> two break, <laughs> two breaks in like, within like 20, like 10 minutes. Well. <laughs> Gotta do his motions. Yeah, I just, I guess I just like. <laughs> Thank you, here's the subtitle. All right, well, now I know. Don't, don't parkour ahead of him. He doesn't like it. He'll just start pacing back and forth. Superpower is really not helpful. Wait, what's the superpower? Uh, breaking apparently. <laughs> All right. All right, game. I'll do what you want me to do. For now. Oh, that's how you got up there. I always thought he was climbing on the. Just run at the wall and launch yourself just before you get to it. Okay. Whatever. See, my problem was I like jumped over oh, through those Alan, ways, so he got me? stuck here. What are you doing? What? What is he doing? Is it? Is he just broken forever? <laughs> did I? Did I permanently break him? <laughs> He's never gonna be able to play this game. <laughs> Is it because you already? Oh wait, there it, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, there we go. Okay. Whoa. I guess he you wanted me to go across. Congratulations, Jay. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> Are there drink cards in this? Should I be drinking? I guess um, it's Friday. I mean, I do have. I guess... Yeah, it's Friday. I have drinks. Technically, because it's I night. Have to be drinking. Although I much prefer weed than drinking. So maybe that's I'll... fine. It's substance 
demand an edible. Yeah, no, I've always counted edibles as as a drink coward. It's one of those ARG art games where you kill somebody once and they're dead forever. <laughs> Good. We'll need to jump the gap. This is a Dark Souls type you game. You can kill the NPC that down. takes you through the tutorial. <laughs> Damn, I'm good. Okay, your turn. You realize this is crazy. That, that she did I not. What? I like bounced off of nothing. Oh, uh, you know. You know. Don't worry about it. Do you want me to go? Come visit me sometime. I could show you around to some places that I know you'd like. I mean, I've made good friends and all, but. Hey, this man is flirting with you. Yeah. Oh, there's the drink card. I'm having a Coke, vanilla Coke, and a Zvedka. Yeah, Bear was asking me if he wanted me to go, if, if I wanted him to go get uh, booze for this, but I think maybe, I think maybe Bear should bring me some edibles. That's what Bear should do. He'll hear this in a sec. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I also be clear those guys in no time. at about 7:15 or 7ish. I'm probably gonna have to see. He's supposed to be there so that he can he could he could trigger that. But I guess because he wasn't there, I couldn't do it. Oh, I see. But you needed the weight of two people. Yeah, the weight of two people to collapse <laughs> the roof. Uh, by the yeah. way, try combining abilities and discover new ways to deal with it. Here's a weird glitch, by the way, with this thing. So with Steam, you can take screenshots normally. <laughs> you can't take screenshots of these parts. Like the loading screens, like it will take a screenshot after, so it'll just be a screenshot of black. Say something. Oh, weird. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I've never Just seen that happen with a, with a Steam game before. Stay where you are. I'll find you. Why did it break like it was a solid, solid slab of concrete? Um, oh, oh, but his know. superpower is being a hundred, a hundred pounds <laughs> per per square inch. I was about to say a hundred pounds. That's not that much. I was gonna say like a hundred tons, and I was like, oh wait. Um, I have, but yeah, at about seven ish, I'm gonna have to go get um, some food. I have in a slow cooker upstairs. Oh hell yeah! I actually have. Um, I oh. actually have uh, some food in the Donabe cooking. Ooh. I'm making some, um, uh, I'm going to make some pork and some yam noodle, like, soup, kind of, with a icon. It'll be yummy. I made, um, this, like, oh, fuck, I forgot what it was called, but it's like a, it's like an orange chicken thing that was just in my wow. recipe. I had, a. Uh... What is... So this is Stop. part of her superpowers. Oh. Where are you taking him? She can, she can look at time. She can just no. This she can just look at time. Mistake, please let him go. Oh, is this is this the same place? Yeah, but it's in the past. See? Oh, that's cute. See, the thing is that that's that's what I'm talking about. Licensed games is that somebody could have made this and been like, oh, here's a here's the system, and we're just gonna shop it around. And if anybody's got a franchise, like this could have been an, an X Men game. This, this could have been a or wow. Marvel or whatever. Yeah, no, and it would make sense then as to why it's not like featuring characters that apparently are in the reboot. Mm -hmm. Through time, maybe I can spot him. If I can look through time, maybe I can spot him. She's really attached there to this. They are. See, now I can I can go through time and I can also look through time. That's going to be the main puzzle of the game. Oh, I, the, I saw the M, and I thought that was saying it was five minutes ago, and I was like, damn, this place got messed up in five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> or I guess it would be rebuilt in five minutes. <laughs> Check this so out. I don't get it. So now you're, you've fallen into the past? Yes. So I have I have somehow time-traveled to the past um, because I got stressed out. But I can look into the future and and use that to follow them to try to figure out how to, how to save them. Oh. So they went, uh, I don't know, really. mark enemies by I looking at them. Who knows what they'll do if they catch me. So he, she says that, How but check this out. This down here. You don't have proper authorization. Get some. So yeah, he's got me on the lock, but check this out. He won't go into the. He won't come into the bathroom. There's no way through now. 
So once the door shut, I'm fine. Maybe there will be. I can just walk past him. There's a way out where I came from. How do I get back? So this is the other mechanic, or one of the other mechanics, is she can she can, can see, see through see time, time, but she can also can pee through time. Pee through time. Well, move through. <laughs> Anybody can roast beef. Yes. <laughs> that, is, that is amazing. Can I just do this time jump ship thing whenever now? Is this a mechanic in Dishonored 2? Okay. It, did this, so, and if so, did Dishonored 2 come out before this? The coast is clear. And then I shift. All right, Alex. I'm coming. Here you come. What's weird is that, like, so these chairs are here. Also, apparently, I'm knocking them down in the future, in the past as well. Very, very confusing uh, how that's, that, that's working. But anyway, so, like, this building was destroyed, like, had to have been destroyed, like, let's see, what's that? That's two at, like, two hours later. <laughs> Dishonored 2 definitely copied Gen Gemini Heroes Reborn. I'll buy it. I'll believe anything. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. I gotta come into the now. The thing. So here's the thing. She isn't apparently in the actual show, from what my understanding is. the wrong way what's going on here oh yeah here's the what? have contact Fire. that's fine I'll just do that looks like there was a fight here they must have come this way. This Ooh. hero dude is so cool. Oh my god, that's the dude from Heroes. He could move through time like he Oh. Wait. Why are their guns yellow? See another see another safe. Uh, I'm actually going to be uh right back chat. I want to hear something. I think my cuz my timer is about to go off. So I'm going to put up my BRB screen, and I will be right back. Aw, oh, man. I wanted to say hi to the people with uBlock. Well, I guess I can say hi to y'all. Hello, chat. How are you? How's everyone doing? Oh, wait. <laughs> this screen is different than the last one. Huh. Pop Bajor, you're okay now that it's the weekend? That's good. Addy Elomans, you're good? That's great. The screen rules? Can someone explain the screen for me? <gasps> Adam! Hello! Hello! You're he you're local to me. Hi! Maybe. Theoretically. Possibly. <laughs> good now that I'm high? Well, I just had, had, I just had an edible, so... Can I get baked as fuck tomorrow and go through Phil Elverum's photo book called Dust? Who's Phil Elverum? My uncle for no not knowing that. Don't forget, I'm like a granny, so like, I don't know stuff. Uh, if you play Caves of Could, there's a society of sci-fi bears. I've heard, and I, um, I, I think I know somebody who works on Caves of Could in some capacity, and I, everyone I know who plays games like that, like, absolutely rules. Uh, uh, absolutely, uh, uh, they always say that that game absolutely rules. I mean, they rule, they rule too, all my friends rule. But, um, yeah, everyone I know who, who mentions that game always seems to be super excited. I think I'm not, like, I don't know, my, my brain is small, uh, and I don't have time for anything, but I, I peeked into it. It seemed like it's a very vast game with a lot of possibilities. I, I like Dwarf Fortress, so I don't know why I wasn't able to get into, uh, Cape to Could, but at the same time, I like Dwarf Fortress in that, like, 
I know how to play it, and I start a game and play it for 20 minutes, and then I'm like, haha, that was funny, and then I move on. Um, uh, Puff Bajor says, I love the idea of games like Caves of Could, but always bounced off until Caves of Could. Really? Maybe I should try it again. I don't know. I'm never... I'm always looking to not play anything because I'm always so busy. Um, I say thinking about the fact that I should probably have chopped up some daikon and put it in my stuff already. But, uh, uh, yeah, I'm always so busy, so I never have time to play. But can, can someone just play games for me? I guess that's what Twitch is, huh? But then I have to watch. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm cooking right now, technically. The music is loud? Is there music? I actually don't hear the music. Oh! What is this? <laughs> I like that Delusion is sitting down. I wonder I wonder who where that came from. <laughs> what the heck? Oh Adam, you spilled your wine over me? Oh well I'm I am so flattered that you would spill your wine over me, Adam. You're the best. Uh, I, I, my, when, whenever Rona ends, uh, my, uh, my sous vide is waiting for you. I will cook for you again. Um, yeah, no, the, the doge with the soda is very good. I like I that. Love it. <laughs> I like that. Hello. I'm back. What, what were those scenes? Or should I even ask? Do I even um, want to know? The first one was some Murder, Death, Greytown. And that second one was the one with the little soda was from uh all the colors of the night which is a 70s italian uh horror oh hi adam bro adam you'll make me edibles oh my god <laughs> adam i can just like make you fancy food and drop it off at your house and sure, you could make me edibles so cool. and i can just pick them up Remember, like why don't we just do that like he... oh oh yeah because you both live in the bay yeah this hero, dude. Theoretically. Theoretically. Allegedly. Remember, I wish I could move time, like he... oh. did, did she just say the same thing twice? Mm -hmm. Why? Oh, because you looked at the same object. Okay, okay, okay. I understand now. You I moved back to. Oh, I want to see Adam. if I can. Uh... Okay, that's fair. I mean, that's fair. But still. I, see... oh, I can't go through time, I guess, if I'm standing where one of the air is standing. Which I guess good for them for for guessing that that point. Look at this like cafeteria. We got donuts, hamburger, nice, good. Good. ribs. Oh hey, garlic bread. Those ribs look very fake. <laughs> yeah, uh, pizza with five olives on it. I feel like the ribs were like the one of these things does not look like the other. Where yeah. like the ribs were definitely like a baby's toy. Yeah, can no, those, those, are, not, those are not those are not Yeah, yeah, look at what is what, <laughs> what? Oh, let me see are those guys around. Can I, can I just hey. come back here? Were Kyle's here! Hey Kyle! Hey, We're looking at ribs. Hold on, let me make Kyle a little bit. Yeah, we're having, we're having rib time. Yeah, we're looking at the ribs in the game. If you if you click on oh, my, my name, God, you should see really yeah, the video. Is there a bunny in here? Dope. Yeah. There's another Whoa, there's a, there's big a bunny. bunny. Yeah, it's a bigger, bunny bigger bunny. As you want. Chat, buddy, this is uh, Kyle, aka KLSWSK, aka Rabbit. Uh, they're a music producer and they're a friend of mine and they're really good. I've, I've used their music for, for pre stream shows before. It's really good. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> Enough of that. Uh, Adam's in the chat, by the way, Kyle. He just said Kyle in all caps. He did say Kyle. Oh, I think Kyle's getting other stuff set up. World's shiniest ribs. Where am I going? Where am I fucking? Oh yeah, yeah. Blood. Please don't let me pass. Hold on, Alex. I'm on my way. No, oh, here I am. Temporally look, leap, look before you temporally leap. It's good advice. It's good advice to give everyone. Also, I, I didn't get to prepare my food yet because uh, the food is done cooking in the slow cooker. I got that set up. But the brown rice isn't done because brown rice takes like four fucking years to make. 
Uh, I thought it would be done by now, but I like looked and it wasn't even in the like last five ten minutes of it. Uh, so I'm I'm waiting for that to finish now. What do you mean, how are you supposed to get through there? How do you, by going through time. Oh, check this out, chat. We're about to get another uh, power up. I'm assuming that is a character who's from either the other game or the TV show. It's like the power to move things with your mind, right? Yep. Let's check this out. Chat? There's gotta be another way through. Let's face it. The K formula may be the only way to get to Alex. So there's there's no way to get through this except getting telekinesis. Which we do okay, then. by stabbing this this into our ourselves, which we are just assuming I guess gives us telekinesis. I wanna get telekinesis. You gotta pick up some glowing needles, apparently. Wait, so this, so they have, in this game you get powers, okay, sure. I can't pick up these ones because they're yellow. I keep, I, I, now I'm, now I'm really stuck on the idea that this could have been, you know, an unrelated game that got turned into a franchise game. It, it really feels like it was an unrelated game <laughs> that got turned into like, a franchise like, game. Like, syringes that give you power, like, heroes' powers is, like, no, nah, I don't think that's a thing. And I don't know, maybe it's in the reboot, but that's... I don't... Doubt. I mean, maybe in the reboot, it's like, oh, um, we, we, yeah. we just discovered how to give people superpowers. And so that's what we're doing now, because we're the bad guys. But yeah, like, that doesn't, that doesn't feel right. Okay, hey, watch this. Yeah, I mean, it could have been in the second season, but I, I would be very surprised if they actually used any second season stuff as canon, so... Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. I mean, this feels like it could have just been, like, a triple-A game. Oh, was, okay, so apparently Heroes Are Born oh, might have been, like, a... Gertrude is saying felt like an unrelated sci-fi series that they just turned into a hero show. Oh, interesting. So it could have been both that and this with like someone with money just like reviving the franchise. Yeah, just being like, oh, we, let's let's tie these both into the heroes thing. Like, people are really into like mid two thousands nostalgia now, so we'll 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 we'll, we'll, we'll get in on that heroes uh, funness that people have from. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of when people would have nostalgia from it. I guess there's a reference to it in. Um, Meet the Spartans. Hey, watch this. Kind of like bullets. Is there anything I can't do? Well, besides find Alex. I mean. Oh yeah, I can deflect bullets now. If I do that. Do you people have a fondness for heroes? I feel like there's gotta be. Like I feel like especially if you watched it growing up, you probably would. I've, again, it's it's not a thing I ever watched. It was just like there was like a lot of shows like this that I just like considered like mom soap opera shows. Did, did you watch wow. the first series at all? No, I, I never watched it. It was just like one of those oh, shows that was on TV. I feel like if someone made an abridged oh, version of it, it would be a worth worthwhile watch because it like it's it does a really good job of like similar to Game of Thrones, just like putting a bunch of parts down and then like letting you like. Giving you everything that you could possibly need to like be able to figure out what what would happen when those parts come together, and then like letting them come together and having you be like, oh, so that's what happens. It's interesting. Wow, watch the watch me stop these bullets. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so Jake. So very, he's shooting you with a with a blowgun dart. Yeah, like I a just. Nerf gun. Oh fuck, he can hit me. I didn't- I, I wasn't counting on that. Oh fuck. Got him. Oh fuck, wait, no, he's getting back up. Oh. 
Wait, what? I moved the vent. It should be moved in the past. Whatever. <laughs> I got it. The guard is the real hero. I respect his persistence. The guard is a is a bullet sponge. That's his superpower. Yeah, no, we're oh, already on level four. Working. Oh. Can you hear me? Yes, I can Hello. hear you now. Yeah, yeah there's Kyle. Kyle. I was wondering what had happened. Hey, yeah, no, I was using my phone as a mic, and it was so laggy. Oh, yeah. Oh, rest in peace. Maybe I can find more info on your parents. Uh, are you able to see the video in the Discord? Yeah, I can see the video, and I have the chat, like, kind of to the side, so it's all good. Perfect. Hello, friend bunny. Hey. Hey, Kyle. Oh, I can toggle the speed of time. I'm Tony. I'm the last person in the Bay Area. Yeah. Give up the last one. The last, the last, the last one. remaining survivor. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I think that if I leave the Bay Area and like move to Seattle or something, that like, like, uh, I don't know, like, it, like something bad will happen. Like I, I like I sacrificed crazy. myself to Who's like keep, keep keep the Bay Area here. Oh, this guy. Like, like all the tech people would follow me or something. Not that they haven't oh, already. God. What what is? A guy looks like the Breaking Bad guy. Yeah, ow. Hold on. Got him. Your glasses will save both types of stamina for you. Blue is for telekinesis, orange is for normal. So are these people just shooting you with regular guns? Yeah, they, I, I think but, they just don't trust me. Um, okay, so I, I know I say this like literally every time I'm a guest on a stream, but like I will never get used to like AAA games and how well People can just take a bullet. Well, oh, she, yeah. it's because she's a superhero now. That's that's <laughs> yeah. that's why. When you have when you have time powers, getting shot in the skin is fine. Yeah, it becomes easy. <laughs> it's just normal. What is what's this? Is this a thing that I can stop? Is that the implication? Oh, I see. Wait, ah. ow. Why Wait, but if it's like, moving slow, why is it hitting? Problem. The fan is moving slow, but it still hurts me, apparently. Yeah, but bullets are fine. Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Killed by a slow-moving fan. <laughs> My feeling one. Oh, telekinesis the bars? That might be it. You move faster and jump farther when time slow is activated. Oh, it's just called time slow, okay. Oh, hey, Chad, is it the first time I've done the death screen in this game? It just goes like your glasses go like, pulse can't be found. I wish. I'm still quite a ways further ahead. I'm sending you a new waypoint. Hurry, oh, yeah, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, I got an old terminal up and running. Maybe I can find more info on your parents. Oh, it won't let me time travel because he's talking. There we go. Like this. <laughs> Did I just break his neck? What the fuck was that? Oh fuck, there's another guy. Oh fuck. Apparently Jim Belushi owns a pot farm and just shared a photo of one of his plants. How do they look? Mids. Mids? Oh, does mids. Jim is Jim Belushi growing mids? <laughs> <laughs> I want that on the front page of People Magazine. Jim Belushi growing mids. And then like a quote, like an inset and a quote from his wife that's just like, I can only, I can only uh, love a man who smokes Reggie. <laughs> the weed is too strong now. Yeah, the weed's <laughs> Jim Belushi claims weed too strong now. Wife leaves, comma, wife leaves him. <laughs> Some people just need a gentle bud. That's me. I'm the guy. I'm the. I'm the person who needs the gentle buzz because I need the. I need the. S, uh, not SPD. CBD. SPD. I don't need in my life. What's SPD? <laughs> uh, Seattle Police Department. Oh ew. Like I said, I don't need that in my life. 
Well, apparently there's no more cops coming. This oh, Brochamp is referencing cognitive behavioral therapy because that's the only thing I know that those three words refer to. Well, it also stands for um. Can <laughs> can <laughs> bean tortilla. <laughs> so wait. Oh fuck. Fuck. Can't figure out what the Back fuck this game wants me to do. Again. Yeah. Well, I can't figure out what the game wants me to do. What does Y can? What does Y do? It slows down time, but like oh, then the turbines just hit me slowly. Can get oh. you out of a tight spot. It wanted me to jump up here. I think. Huh. I don't know where the fuck. What do you want? Game. Do you jump through them? No. Well, the only. Can There's gotta be a travel? way to like. Hmm. Well, I can slow down time. What is that? Th oh, that thing just. Oh wait, wait, wait! Can't hear it. Okay. Okay. Just it just wanted me to do that. <laughs> as okay as I can be. You sound like maybe you're in shock. Um, singularity. Well, God, this really does just feel like a, a low, low a, a, a worse singularity. So, good day. <laughs> Wait, did they- he just like ended the conversation at that. Oh fuck, on there's a guard here. But, with my new superpowers, I'll jump here, grab him, grab him, grab him. Okay, fine, I'll leave. Oh, there he is. Hey, sir, bye. Got him. <laughs> is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. He just left. Where did he go? He just was like, well, I'm on this level now, I guess. Oh, fuck. Man, I'm tired of getting shot by all these guards. Gotta, gotta be honest. I'm tired of this vignette filter from Instagram being put over my screen. <laughs> Uh, Kyle, so you, you did miss it earlier. Uh, I managed to break this game within about 15 minutes of playing it uh, twice. What did you do? So they gave me the ability. They gave me that ability to wall jump and run. So I ran back to where there were some guards that they didn't want me to be seen by earlier because, like, they had put an invisible wall there so that I couldn't right. go run up in front of them. This was like <laughs> outside the level. But I was like, oh, did they? think to include putting an invisible wall uh, on top of this wall where uh, I can jump? Uh, and the answer is no. Uh, so I jumped <laughs> over it and got in front of the guards, which triggered the uh, cutscene. Got him. Uh, oh, Jesus! Oh, uh. uh, There he is. He's fine. Uh, which triggered the cutscene where he uh, jumps like... Or which triggered the cutscene that where they go like, oh, enemy spotted, like we're engaging hostile. Um, and the problem with that is that it then reset me back to that part. But that part oh, was shit. like already supposed to be, pa I was already past that. So the game just soft locked and didn't let me progress any further. <laughs> so I had, to, I had to restart the checkpoint in order to, in order to prog progress. Why can't I progress here? Why can't I? Grab this. I would like to grab this item that is glowing. Alright, well, whatever. Fuck you. Have contact. Wait. I can't get out of the way. Can I so, catch. What am I doing? Oh. Damn, I guess the edibles did hit. Yeah, like, what is going on here? What is they? <laughs> did I... This did must I... be so crazy for him to watch, like, happen in front of him. Yeah, well... Ow! <laughs> There. 
there. You're going. You're there now. <laughs> I just moved him. <laughs> this is where you go now. This is extremely useful. Yeah, having superpowers is useful. Yeah. <laughs> turns out. Turns out telekinesis is useful. Yeah, it turns out being able to just lift men. <laughs> very useful. Oh, fuck. <laughs> How do I, how do I shoot my telekinesis back at you? I like how the game just started and you're already like weird OP, like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if this game hadn't been a Heroes game, what do you think this game would have been? Do you think this was like an indie game? Like a small studio game, I guess I mean. Yeah, no, I, I could see this being cut. I, don't, I have no idea what the game... Okay, wait. Got him! Oh, fuck! Uh, <laughs> what studio made this game? Uh, I don't know offhand, actually. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah. Uh, oh. What's it called again? Heroes? Uh, Gemini Heroes Reborn. Can this guy not enter this room? Gemini Heroes Reborn. Made by... Oh, I pulled him Fos into the room. He's gonna have to deal with it. Made by Phosphor Game... Uh, made by Phosphor Games and self-published. Oh. Can you telekinesis the bullets? So that's what I'm trying to figure out. Because if I do this, I could stop it. But it's like not letting me grab them when I do this. This game studio has less Twitter followers than I do. Oh wait, no, that's right. I have less followers than that now. Oh, thank God. I'm so happy I've gone from like 4,000 to 3,000. How did you lose so many followers? Uh, just intentionally not posting jokes and shit. Uh -oh. <laughs> And I block people a lot. <laughs> How is a licensed game self-published? <laughs> that's a well, re that's a really good point, actually. So How is a licensed game self-published? Licensing and publishing are separate, are different things. That's like licensing is just buying the rights to be able to make the game within the franchise. Oh, do you think that that's what they did? Yeah, I mean, it's entirely possible that this they just were like, oh, I don't know. I mean, it's the Okay, so it sounds what that sounds like would be that it would be like they paid whoever, whatever amount of money to uh, make the game within the li within the franchise, um, and then, you know, they could have had any sort of deal where like you know there's cross promotion for like a cheaper cut of the um, of the of the license or whatever, right? Like a, I feel like an average license is like. Not like if you have a good relationship with God. I don't want to say like if you have a good relationship with Viacom, which is a weird thing to say. But uh, if you're good, if you have a good relationship with like license holders, then you know you can get a license for like thirty k. I feel like usually. Um, so you know, but but people can do like a, a thing where they're like, oh well, we're about to release a game in this franchise, or uh, a show or a movie in this franchise, so we'll give you a cut on it, or we'll do a bunch of marketing for your game or whatever. Uh, and then publishing is like paying for the game to get made, paying for like distribution. Uh, sometimes it involves marketing. Um, publishing usually involves just like putting money down to make the production happen in some way, shape, or form. Uh, and then you get money later, or in the back end, or in um, uh, or at launch. Oh fuck! Ah! That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, and I fell through the level and died. <laughs> you can pay. You can pay me like two hundred dollars an hour to 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 hear, learn this stuff. <laughs> or you can uh, you can come to my stream and learn it for free. That's the benefit of being a J subscriber. That's true. You basically just got you know a few, like a thirty dollars worth of knowledge. <laughs> I I I I learn things uh, all the time by either just asking my friends about their lives. Or uh, googling it. <laughs> <laughs> what a what a good human thing to do. Yeah, no, that's I like I was like all the time. The, the, the reason the reason I say that it's because it's like I'm constantly people will be like oh like like on the advice thing and we're like oh you get really good advice like oh you have really good insight or seem to know all these things. I'm always just like I just like 
talk to people. <laughs> like I don't know. What to oh. t- like I'm just I'm just very oh, conversational. Yeah. Well, uh, I have I have always been that way. I mean, like I you know you know I I ran I ran a big event with like a you know, like people are always like oh how do you know this how do you know these people how do you know X and Y I'm always like yeah I ran a bunch of events that had a lot of yeah BLFC people in them. <laughs> yeah wait what yeah I run BLFC that's true yeah. Um, yeah, no, I ran ran events with a lot of people on them, and I just talked to those people. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, that's not gonna work. I wanna get up to where the game clearly does not want me to get up to. <laughs> that's like the most J thing. Yeah, to say. I just, listen, I can see. It's like, you know, when, when, listen, I heard Todd Howard tell me that if I see a mountain, I can go to it, and I've never been the same. I've been wanting to get to the mountain since. <laughs> But well, once upon a time there was like really bad takes in like the the like indie indie game scene about like games being like developers and players being in like a BDSM relationship or something. It was just oh like yeah this, yeah that was like, a fun era tr- that you could just write. I, that was like yeah, Stephen King's fun. Coke era of of, of games <laughs> discourse. <laughs> that, yeah, that was the Joker era. No, but um, <laughs> the yeah the embarrassing takes, but but. I was just imagine. I was just imagining in that context, you would be like the bratty sub of the relationship. Oh, absolutely! Right now. Yeah, I would be the one who's just like oh, that. That's just like my relationship. Like not even just the bratty sub, just the like the the the, ins- the reason I am a she. I, I identify as sheep is because I am also extremely insolent. I will oh, just yeah, do whatever annoys you the most. You're a she, she because you're every picture of a, of someone pulling a sheep's collar yeah. and their neck is just all like stuffed <laughs> out because they're not moving. Okay, <laughs> I've realized I can't get on top of that because it's not actually there. I just go right through it. That's fake. Te- those are fake textures. I'm pissed. No, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, hold on. that was the end of the level, by the way. <laughs> was was learning how to learning how to long jump was the end of the level. <laughs> you did it. I love chat just being like Jay is just normal, which is a rare thing online. I'm normal. Am I normal? I feel like we're I'm normal. normal. I'm normal-ish. <laughs> Kyle's very normal, but Kyle's also been banned from Twitter multiple times. Oh, that's great, Kyle. Kyle. Congratulations. I can't make a Twitter account. Yeah, that's great. Was, that's fantastic. It was it was because I threatened the Stakeums account. It was for the stupidest thing in the world. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I mean, you know, Stakeums, Stakeums. Well, but at the same time, I feel like Stakeums, Stakeums deserves their peace and, and quiet. I feel like. <laughs> they deserve a safe space, so to speak. Twitter, Twitter is making itself what the fuck into a safe space this, for corporate this, accounts. This image I just posted in chat is 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 why why Jay is a sheep. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that's a, that's a good like. Oh, this is Jay. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> What's Jay like? You just post that. Uh. Oh shit! There's a dude there in in the past time. So I gotta I gotta be careful. I assume is what the game wants me to do here. Or I can just keep moving, I guess. <laughs> I don't actually know what CFT is. What's CFT? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's the is camping CFT? con. Oh, oh, that's the one I wanted to go to. Yeah, it's really oh, fun. Man. Let's not talk about that or else it won't be fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, sometimes you're like, oh, there's this really cool thing. Okay, well, let's not tell the internet. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle, when that happens, I'll have to tell you about it because it's uh, good. It's a great time. Yeah, you should. Oh, you yeah. should say. You should say thank you. You deserve. You I, deserve praise for a champ. I, I don't want to go camping until there is someone who is willing to carry all of my things and me the entire way. You say that like you don't have like a lot of that. I, exact, I, I exact had thing. someone who literally promised to do that. <laughs> yeah. Is that the is that the one who's my boyfriend's roommate? No, it's not. It was a different boyfriend of mine who promised that, unfortunately. But I will hopefully get somebody else who also wants to carry me and my stuff all the way through the forest. There we go. That fixed it. Wow, dude, you do not look great. 
Bro champ, give me lim I, I actually technically also have an army of men, but I'm also like I spoil them and just feed them, so Oh, wait. Like let me utilize yours perhaps. Where'd you go? Engaging! It's true, Ursus, see Ursus on title is, is one of the bears, and so he knows about the palanquin. See, no! <laughs> Pup Ager is right. Pup Ager should say that. We um, all deserve to be good. princess carried. Yeah, we do. I do. I don't know about y'all, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> we all is a little strong, but uh... Kyle, Kyle deserves it. I don't. I don't. I'm not a princess carried type. Oh, are, princess you a, are you? A, are you? Are you a wriggler? <laughs> Yeah, I had to think about it. I was like, yeah, no, I, just, I would just kick. <laughs> you to stick. Like, uh, like one of those cats that someone's like, look, you can hold them. And they're yeah. Like, yeah, but they don't want to be held. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, well, if you if they want to be held, you can hold them. And it's like, that's that, just, that means I can't hold them. Like, that's not... Whoa. No, see, my boys, my boys know that um, I, I can be pretty bossy and like mean uh for funsies as, as a joke as a goof um but if you just pick me up i just like shut the hell up real fast immediate uh attitude adjustment okay there that's who killed me got him got him got him got him oh fuck I'm right next to my window, so occasionally. Oh, that's what that was. Okay, I was like, I was like, where is the sirens coming from? It's just lovely Seattle. No! This game is better than I thought it was going to be. It's harder than I thought it was going to be so it's far. It's just like a game. Yeah. Like, I don't know how to describe that. Like, I don't know how to explain what I just said, but it's just... No, I know it's exactly what you mean. Like, it just, it it just, just plays. It's just a game. It's you just, just a game. play it. I thought it was going to be like, Hey, hero from the Heroes universe. <laughs> and I guess there was a little bit of that earlier with the comic book, for example. But Yeah. I think it's I feel because... Like it's I, I think it's because, like you said, you you were right. Where it's like this is this is a tie-in game, so they probably just like licensed what they wanted. What could this game be asking me to do right now? Would it be would, would it be better if I went crappy microphone to go uh, check on my food, or yeah. if I uh, or if I just was quiet? I think just BRBing would be like, oh, I'm gonna go check on my food, BRB. I'm gonna go. go check on then. your food, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, holding up. Can you hear me? Hello? See in this concrete? Got a situation here. I'm here. Good. I found the data room, but there's no power, and even if there was, the servers are trashed. Is there anything salvageable? We need that data. No, they're melted like there was some kind of fire down here. It must have been what destroyed the place. Wait a second. Hold on. Maybe there is a way to get the data before the place burned down. Check what the current difficulty setting is. It, it, oh, it's on hard. Oops. Good catch, uh, No Country for Old Twinks. I must have done that on accident. Uh, I'll set it to normal real quick. We're gonna go back in time and cause the fire. I think you're right. Oh wait, hold on, I have to. Oh, well, I guess that was it. <laughs> nope, no hacking. I just travel back in time and. How did you get these files? I went back in time. <laughs> yeah, right. I 
told you. I have Evo abilities. Wait a minute. You're, you're serious? Wait, Evo? How does she just know what they're called? I thought she said evil abilities at first. He didn't know she had superpowers until like right now? Yeah, no, she was just like, she was like, oh, we fell down earlier and I discovered I had, I had powers now. So she's like, now I can time travel and look at time and also I, I injected myself with a, a chemical to make me do telekinesis. There's a tent in here. He's really cool about it. Yeah, he's just kind of like, this must be like a universe where it's like, oh yeah, that happens. This is a post the <laughs> Heroes TV show universe, so it's like, yeah, people just have superpowers in our time. That just happens. Oh yeah, my, that happened to my cousin, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, my cousin was, got, my cousin had hero abilities. <laughs> got him. Well, in the TV show, the heroes were like, people knew who they were, right? They're kind of like celebrities. Yeah. Yeah, no, because they were just like, I think they were just like normal people. Did, has anybody who's watched the TV show know anything about it? Because I, I believe they were just normal people, but I assume that like they must have like become known because they have like big public superhero fights. Right. Cause I know one of them is a whoop. He's like doesn't question that I just like appeared in front of him. Just like yeah, found him. This shit just happens like every other week to these guys. Yeah, <laughs> they're like yeah, this is why the fire started is because of stuff like this. Okay, see, like that picks them up. All right, now he's dead. Cool. Oh, let me just. Oh. Wasn't there a Suresh mentioned in my biology class? I doubt it was a kid. Still. Suresh. Familiar. Wasn't there? Is this a character from the Hero Show? I doubt it was a kid. His name sounds familiar. Wasn't there a Suresh mentioned? Oh God, she's stuck. She's stuck on a loop. She's stuck on looping it. <laughs> Past this guy. What's going on? Oh fuck! Right, where'd he go? <laughs> Got him. Problem solved. Everybody in the chat, hit your bongs right now. Yeah, chat. <laughs> On the count of three, I want to hear you hit the bong. Let's go. Let's let let's let let's let us smoke weed worldwide. Where the did I? Hold on. Oh wait, do I need to go back in time? Hey, Adam. Ah! <laughs> Cassandra. Right You're either very brave Who's this? Or very stupid to come this far for a friend. Who are you? What the hell? What do you want with us? What do I want? I'll tell you. I like went back in time and this guy was just like, oh, there you are. Hey, what's up? Whoever you people are, whatever you're doing down Is that a TV or a projector? Don't I don't know. It's like a, it's like a perfectly flat surface. It looks like it's like I'm looking at a window and he's just in there. But he's recording it like a Casey Frey video. I knew it would be. What do you mean back here? I've never been here. No. So much about your child. You don't oh, got a drink, coward. Your family, your evil abilities. See, every time they say evil abilities, I think they're saying your evil abilities. My name is Trevor Mason. What's up, Trevor? I brought you here to reawaken those abilities because I need them. And you. You need me? For what? All in good time. First, you Ooh, master strong. your new abilities. Whatever this is. Uh, Hardy B, this is PC. For? There were two Heroes Reborn tie-in games. There was this one, and there was one on mobile. Wait, can I get up to that? But they wait. Did they not have a kill order already? Because they. 
Because it definitely seemed like they did. Wait, okay, hold on. So he definitely... That's just a convex TV. So, okay, I see what I'm gonna do here is just keep doing this. Which is throwing, go, traveling back in time and then throwing items at them. Whoa, what's... Wait, what are those beeps? Are, are, are people being warned that I'm coming back? Is that yeah, what that is? The, the, the Tony approaching alarm. That better not be what that is, I swear to God. I, it's not the Tony approaching alarm. Is that guy dead yet? <laughs> yeah, okay. Ah! Did you? Yeah, <laughs> Tony alert. Why? <laughs> Why I just Tony like. Alert? I like were y'all talking mad shit? Hole? No, we were. Um, Talking about you the were, Evo. I'm assuming. We were trying were. to figure out okay, so what you missed is a guy appeared on a convex TV screen, which was in this wasteland for some reason. And he's like, You kept going so far to save your friend. Um but now my guys are gonna kill you. Which is weird because it seemed to imply that they weren't going to kill her before, <laughs> despite firing guns at her. Those were the safety guns. They had their guns on safe on, yeah. on uh, stun. <laughs> on stun. <laughs> Cool. Can I get off? I'm gonna jump off this rail. I don't think so. They smashed up the terminal, but I still have my phone. Good thing because they moved me to another location. Looks like some kind of prison. If there's a data center on the floor you're on, you might be able to find a map. Come on, there's gotta be a way to get off this rail. With the terminal gone, I'm, I'm not sure how, but. They didn't take his phone. Well, he's using Google Glasses, and they don't they don't know what that technology is. Despite assumedly working for the company that invented it. Damn it. Okay, that didn't work. There we go. <laughs> hey, if it worked, it worked. Some enemy guys, just as a heads up, some enemies can dodge thrown objects. Chat, be on the lookout. Some enemies can dodge thrown objects. Some... I can't. I mean, it didn't work though. You died. Well, no, but what it tells. See, here's the thing: is I died, but I don't have to wait for it to reload down here now, because now it's just loading me down here. So I am saving the time that it would have taken to get all the way down here. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I like to just appear in the past and, like, throw things at, at unsuspecting guards and then leave. I like to do that in real life. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm, uh... I'm... I'm talking about doing crimes. That's fine, it's parody. Yeah. Well, you're not actually doing it, so it's fine. Yeah. What's this game I'm gonna do? Ow! <laughs> Okay, that worked. Whoa, what the fuck? This guy's a ninja. Oh, 
Jump! Jump back in time! Jump back in time! Jump back in time! I'm always saying. There we go. You can now access the room that holds the processing annex key. What? Why is it always man down and never is man down? <laughs> I love these. I don't think I ever read this one though. Oh, okay. I got her! Over here! You said that. Oh, you did. Hey, die! Oh, you didn't want to die? Okay. What about now? Oh, wait. No! Wait. It's always man down, but never what's up man. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, but it's okay, never yeah, man or you up. Yeah. That was that was the joke. Yeah, you did it. You were trying to you were trying to figure out how to how to phrase it, right? I, I was trying to imagine what a human being would say, and that was it. You got yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I wouldn't know, but okay. Wait. I don't know what this game wants me to do. With oh fuck. <laughs> Oh wait, good, I electrocuted him to death. I don't know where the game is wanting me to go. That way, I guess? You know, I keep hearing all these guys, but I don't see any of them. Oh, fuck. Oh, come on. This guy looks pretty scary, but what would a military facility have to fear from one guy? Fun things to call your partner miserable pile of secrets. That's a that's like a that's a cute that's a that's instead of saying joy friend you can say that. Yeah, actually that's preferable to joy friend. I think most things are prefer. I think slurs are preferable. Yeah. <laughs> Unironically, <laughs> I that's what I ask of my boyfriend. So yeah. Yeah, I have no skin in the game, but just that I, I'm just gonna assume. Do I even want to know what joy friend is? Puppets here. So imagine, yeah, these guys are just in the T-pose cage. Uh, imagine like what the gender neutral word for girlfriend or boyfriend would be, and then come up with the worst possible uh, alternative. Yeah, when and that's what joy McElroy, friend is. When Travis McElroy's wife or whatever comes out as non-binary, that's Jesus. what the, that's what Travis is gonna call. Them. I'm sorry. <laughs> Am uh, I wrong though? No, <laughs> I'm gonna I. Uh, have just been told my race is done, so I'm gonna go grab my food. I will be right back. Girlfriend, girlfriend is so much better. Personally, I prefer. Well, I said already slurs, but you know. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I already said slurs. <clears throat> girlfriend, what's a girlfriend? Please, versus untitled. Explain yourself. Also, oh, hello, Kyle. Got a quiet bunny. How's everyone doing? How's the chat doing? How y'all doing? Does anybody want some of the donabe I'm making? I'm making like a donabe with um, what is it? Like with pork and like cubed radish, like turnip, like a uh, daikon radish. And um, I'm gonna put some yam noodles in it, some onions, some kimchi. I make my own kimchi. It's really, really good. Um, let's see, what else is in it? Um. I forget. I'm gonna put some good onions on it. I'm gonna put some goji berries on it because I feel like that would be good. I'm thinking almost like a Xinjiang lamb sort of thing, but with like, um, with pork instead of lamb. Because I don't have lamb, but I was just trying to use it. I have, I got this like 
really cheap um, pork on sale for like 99 cents a pound because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a cheapskate. Um, and so I just got to use it up because there was a lot of it. But, uh, yeah, yeah, no, it should be good. I feel like I, I think I have some garlic and some uh, ginger in the broth. It's a, it's a kombu broth, so it's like kombu and shiitake, dried shiitake mushrooms that I let sitting in there and then I simmered them in the donabe pot, which is like an earthenware pot, Japanese. Um, and yeah, it should be pretty good. It should be like really, really good. Um, I was talking to Jay before this about how like, I've been cooking so much Asian food for such a long time that like, I am so used to now whenever I'm making stews or anything like that with meat, like I will um, boil the meat and then wash it under cold water, which like, I think like, what, like Americans, sorry, I almost said Western, gross. Um, like American food sensibilities, I feel like you have like, like the concept of like parboiling and washing meat is like a terrifying thing, but like, I, it really is, a, I don't know, a good way to do it in my opinion. Um, I don't know, it's just, it's just weird to do sometimes just boiling meat and washing it before you use it. But yeah, Donabe. It's gonna be, it's gonna be yummy. Yeah, it's the scum out of the bones. I think the scum comes from like blood? something like that and it's like kind of slightly yucky but mostly just like cloudy and not like visually visually appealing uh in the broth and so that's why you want it out so that's a thing yeah it's good um oh yeah yeah that, well you know puppy drew that's like like being wary of like undercooked meat or whatever is like i think totally fine and like just making sure it's fully cooked is great. I mean, I think I, I have, I have always, I'm always, so like I cook a lot and I, so I'm like, you know, I have a kitchen and, you know, maybe I have roommates or other people might cook in it or whatever. And I always get kind of like worried about other people's ideas of food safety. Um, like, I think there are people who think that like, you know, if like, like an, like an old piece of meat that like, you know, is maybe like a day past its sell by date is like, They'll, they'll think that is more dangerous than like just raw meat. <laughs> um, and so I always get I always get paranoid about like other people's kind of con like concepts of food safety when they're not like super uh, used to cooking. And like I you know I've I've kind of just found most of the time just because I I, I know cooking kind of intimately most of the um, most of the time when I hear people who don't cook talking about food safety related stuff like what what could potentially make you sick or whatever I'm always like oh yeah that's completely wrong <laughs> that's just, that's just, that just makes zero sense actually uh, but it'll, it'll be something that makes sense to assume but it's like not I don't know uh, usually if you cook stuff long enough and it's gotten to a certain internal temperature for long enough, that's usually fine. That's kind of how it works with a lot of stuff. But, uh, you know, don't take my word for it. I'm not going to pull a Brad Bon Appetit and be like, botulism doesn't exist. Uh, although that could be my bit. I don't know. Like, you guys, chat, do you want that to be my bit? I could just be like, oh, salmonella doesn't exist. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you back. Hello, Kyle. Hey. Hello. Oh yeah, no, I I was actually here the whole time. I just my window was fucking loud. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You're like, oh, I was just here. <laughs> you just hadn't said anything interesting, so I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stoned. What do you want? <laughs> I'm getting there, or at least I, I had an edible a little bit ago because somebody did. Oh, a, very cool. Somebody did a uh, what's it called? A uh, drink coward reward. Yeah, the the um, can can the chat tell me what movie this is from? I don't actually know things, so like, yeah, I I like I work and cook, so just assume chat that if it's not related to working and cooking, uh, I don't I don't know I don't know anything. So please please tell me <laughs> that what game this is uh, from. Ugh, I can't hear the music either. Do I have to like listen to my own stream and like hear my own voice and go mad? Oh, it's like some ragtime. That's so weird, I can't hear the stream. Oh, what's that? 
My, my sound stuff is so messed up because I have like so many devices and so many programs that deal with my sound that like I'm just like I'm in hell. I have like a like an amp. Uh, I, like my earbuds go into an amp that USB connects to my computer and then that connects to like I think there's like uh, like a program that my audio oh, goes through. Wait, 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 people. What? Sorry, I just looked at the chat and people were like we need Jay to come from <laughs> to come back. Oh no, I'm sorry. Oh no, it's fine. I think I think we were just talking about the images. Um, the image right now is from uh, Pulse, the Japanese movie. Okay. Yeah, I was asking. I was asking if if Jat knew what the movies were. For uh, for a second there, I thought that, I thought oh. that was we need Jay to come back like <laughs> like they were bored or something. I oh like no! Apparently, there were people were just like time. losing their mind, being like, "What? What the fuck is this picture?" And like, "What is it?" <laughs> I like the sheep. Where did you get the sheep? Are they like telegram stickers or something? Yes. So the, the sheep is like, it's called, if you look up like fat little sheep is sticker, you'll find like, I <laughs> guess this thing is like even like a specific meme in like, it looked like Cur like South Korea. Because oh, okay. like, I found a lot of edits of this character and things, but I was like looking for the actual ones. It's just like a sticker set that I really like of this, of this little, little Shiba guy. So I have like a couple that I saved as PNGs to just edit and be right back images. Nice. Uh, and That's then the, my my image is set as a slideshow, so that it's like for five minutes it'll show something and it'll show one of the other ones. And then the hold music is set as just like a massive folder of of music that includes hold music and just like random game music. That is that is in fact pulse tussle toes. Good good eye. <laughs> Because I just watched it recently. How's everyone doing? How we how we doing? How we doing today, everybody? So yeah, I've been just calling this like an it's like a total asshole physics game of everything it's given me. Okay. I don't have long. There's a guard patrolling near my cell. Follow the waypoint. Hurry. God, this guy and his waypoints. What? What the fuck? What the? What the? <laughs> what fucking factory am I in? <laughs> <laughs> What is this? You know, the factory. <laughs> the factory that looks like this. Ow. No one knows this, but behind the, the bank vault, they have this shit too. Yeah. <laughs> they normal. I love the I love the torture factory. I love the, like, where they make torture. I love how that's such a video game thing. Oh. Just like the lava pit. <laughs> the lava there pit in the, in the lab. In the fucking lab. <laughs> This is like I'm like they're like doing like a like a workspace share with Jigsaw. Like that's why it fucking looks like this. Yeah, it's true. The like yeah. Crash Bandicoot levels in the middle of this. Very unexpected. So what the what could this game be wanting here? Hey, right, well, I guess that worked. <laughs> what whatever I did, it worked. Oh, shit, fire. Oh, wait. Oh, jeez. Yeah, well, he was in my way, and he didn't get out of the way. <laughs> I like all so, these garish deaths. <laughs> yeah. I like that she's, very... like she's like a normal teen girl, and it's just like, how am I going to get out of this one? 
Oh, I'll just kill people. Like, <laughs> just uh, Derek <laughs> murder. It's great also because that's not that's not extremely heroes. I feel like the word heroes implies you maybe <laughs> wouldn't do that. It implies oh. implies like a morality and not just like oh I have the ability to kill people now. Oh, time to do so. <laughs> it's true, yeah. That's what that's what being a hero is all about. Oh hey, good luck. Good luck for this guy. There's a uh, hey. No, no, no. There you go. Good luck. Have fun. <laughs> oh, I think I figured out how to how to fire that back at him. Night. What the? Did what? I thought I was stopping him. Did the ears ever do any heroes? I'm pretty sure it's entirely set up with no payoff and the show is canceled. Uh, yeah, I do know Zachary Quinto was like eating brains in order to take people's powers. Oh, there's TK juice. Okay, that makes sense. I forgot there are two bars. Find a data center and log in. I'm in room 213C. Got it. So. My understanding of it, Puppazir, from what I read, is that his superpower is that if he looked at something, he could understand how it works. And so if he cut open people's brains, he would understand how they work and thus be yeah. able to, uh, to get I'm their gonna, powers. Uh, right? Can I just go ahead and say that that is... 100% a spoiler. So oh, oh, be, is it? I'm sorry. Be, be aware that is one of the most pivotal spoilers of the show. See, I, I was basing that off, like, when I was looking at the NBC account, that, like, 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 of, like, clips from the show, like, half the clips from the show were of him doing that and explaining why he was doing that. So Wait, I just, really? Oh, was it after the show had, like, already been out for a while, or...? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I just assumed that, like, oh, that must be, like, a thing that's introduced early on. It's like, that's his superpower. I mean, you know, it's fine. I, listen, I look at old stuff all the time. I like watching old stuff because, I don't know, I just... I, I'm a loser. I don't need to be doing what everyone's doing and having friends. I can just <laughs> do things that are completely irrelevant. Yeah, you can't have temporary. friends if you watch Heroes, Tony. And just, <laughs> what? Yeah, true. That is that is a fact. But um, no, I, I, I like old stuff. Uh, but most people, I feel like, probably don't care about spoilers for something that came out like 400 years ago or whatever, like Heroes. Uh, but that, that is definitely... As soon as you started saying it, I was just like, oh yeah, and then I was like, Oh, but that point is actually... <laughs> that's that, that's actually uh, not, like, a thing that's known very quickly. <laughs> I'm also the person... I'm, like, the one person that you'll, like, ruin Evangelion for me, and I'm like, how dare you? I was going to watch that. And people are like, bro, it's 2021. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, I love watching old stuff, so I'm always, like, if the spoiler is something that, like, oh, fuck, there's a ninja guy again. Oh, God, go, go back in time. Go back in time. Okay, I'm fine. Uh, like, if there, if the spoiler is something that's like, oh, is this gonna ruin my experience of watching the show? I'm like, don't tell me. But if it's just a plot spoiler for an old like show or something, I'm like, that's that's fine. I I generally don't like spoilers, but I I almost I, I almost wish there was like a website where you could look up like how how severe it is to have have something spoiled and in a specific movie or TV show because I feel like there's some 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 movies or games or TV shows where like a spoiler doesn't really ruin it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I don't like spoilers, period. But um, there are some where it's less severe whereas there's some where like if you know the thing at the beginning of the game it's just like or, or the show or whatever it just completely ruins the yeah. thing. Yeah, no, ab point. absolutely. Like it's it's a thing where it's like oh, this actually like really kind of matters like, like not knowing this going in. <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, no, and, and then I think that like, you know, um, I think I think Heroes is actually genuinely a thing where I do think the spoilers and especially what you just said is like really important, like really dangerous because you actually spend, at least I spent most of the time watching Heroes actually trying to understand the like real nature of people's powers. Because one of the things that makes heroes good, in my opinion, is that the people with the powers don't actually know, don't necessarily know how to use and control those powers. Ah. Uh, and it kind of manifests in a way that is actually really interesting, where they do things like, and they suddenly find out, like something something good or something really bad happens because they don't, they didn't know that, you know, using their power a certain way or you know they would have a certain reaction to sneezing or something weird like that right um yeah. uh and then i feel like as an audience member for the show heroes like watching people do their powers when the people themselves don't understand their powers super well and then noticing things and then being like oh no this person thinks they have this power but they actually have this power yeah, uh, yeah and yeah. that that sort of thing actually happens a lot in it and it's actually super relevant um so I feel like that's part of what makes the show like it's a good show to watch when you don't have the spoilers, just because it's kind of interesting to try to figure out what even what someone's even capable of. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I'm discovering that this body has a lot of physics on it for some reason, so I can just walk into it and it'll go up the stairs with me. <laughs> um, but oh, also, I, I killed I killed the ninja so hard that uh, he dropped a garage key, so now I can leave. <gasps> after taking a massive amount of fall damage. Sounds like the American JoJo about the camp. Is what people are saying about uh, Heroes. Another show I've also never watched. Um, I started finally watching Hannibal, and then I stopped and didn't finish it. I've never seen Hannibal. I don't, I'm so bad about watching shows. Same. I just like I'm always like uh oh, being like dragged into ten hours of something. It sounds so arduous to me. I mean, then I'll play ten hours of a video game. Actually, you know, it's funny I don't, but I will. I will play multiplayer games. I don't know. I like hanging out. That never feels like a waste of time to me. Even this doesn't feel like a waste of time to me. No, yeah, same. Like if I'm hanging out with people, it's it's fine. But if I'm just like, I think that's why it's hard to watch TV shows is because I have to like sit down and do them. I'll usually do them while I'm eating. But then if I get into a different habit of doing something while I'm eating, I stop watching a TV show, which is what happened to Fanable. Like, I started yeah. reading and having my coffee and then doing my yoga and then eating. So then by that point, I'm like, all right, I'm ready to move on. I'm sorry, what? Red doors unlocked? They can be unlocked by killing enemies or activating switches. Oh. Oh. oh, there you are. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna have to back up, make sure there's no guys around me. Extinguishers I can use to, to kill this man. Oh, I'll use this floating trash can, I guess. Where'd he go? Contact spot. Fuck, it didn't work. There we go. <laughs> Gonna be an enemy afoot. It's at the pit here. Let's 
go back in time to kill enemies? Yeah. Can can Canon has Bando, you don't think anyone should talk about anything ever? Uh I agree. That's true. I think uh, I think talking about media overrated. You know the you know the like let people enjoy things meme thing that like the the most funny people tend to say. Yes. Uh, not You're that against that, that. Not that that sentiment is fundamentally wrong. Um, per se. Uh, but uh, I I feel like um we need to take it a step further, and not even get to the point where someone's posting that meme. Just yeah. Just don't. Just go away. Let people let people do nothing. Let, let nobody let enjoy be, anything. Let people be ignored. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just stop communicating, actually. That's not communication, though. Social media is not communication. It's advertising. Stop advertising to other humans. Stop, stop advertising, stop advertising via talking. <laughs> I think I found the game. But that, like, I, I say this a lot. Like, one of the reasons why, like, Twitter makes us, like, insane people um, is because... It is like made for like companies to advertise their products to people, yeah. like, and that includes brands such as like celebrities, right? For whom they themselves are a brand, right? The brand, yeah. Yeah, and then somehow that made like everyone like think that's normal and how you should act, and so now it's just like. Everyone on Twitter is just like a weird narcissist that's just like selling the concept of themselves as a product online 24-7. I think it's because uh, specifically it's like social media is like the money of social media comes from interactions. What the fuck did she just do? Um, and so they need you to do as many interactions as possible. And those aren't really um, like those aren't really how conversations are done. Yeah. Hold on. Guy, hey, stop. Okay, fine. Okay, fine, I won't talk to you guys. Oh, hey, there's a thing. I don't know. That's changed the standard of, like, what making art on the internet kind of is. Oh, like, well, are we, wait, are, we, are we talking about, like, art Twitter? <clears throat> Just, um, well, I guess people who make art in general, like, even tiny artists, like, not necessarily people who consider themselves, like, a branded artist or whatever. Like, the way that they put stuff out is just, it's very different. It's almost like imitating that. Uh, how can I put it? Just, like, imitating that, uh... The presentation? Very, the pres it's very impersonal, but it's, like, this... Oh, yeah, so it's, like, like it's, it, thing. it's kind of like a brand, like a, like a company. Right, right like, but it's by default, and it's it's right. like, that's kind of how I I feel like people who even like new artists or whatever who see other artists doing that, like they get the impression, oh, okay, this is how I'm supposed to post my art or release my art or whatever. Yeah, as as impersonally and like a product as possible. Right. Are you there? And it's so that it can be engaged with, but it's like, oh, you're talking to the commercial, like. Right, yeah, exactly. Really weird. Yeah, exactly. And that you know, there's so many things like if you're making like a TV commercial for the whole world, for example, right? You're gonna factor in a bunch of stuff. Like you're gonna try to make it as accessible as possible to like the widest range of people. But maybe that's not necessarily what you need always. Right. Like maybe that's <laughs> not the reason that you make art. Either, maybe you could like... make a thing for someone, like or for like yeah. specific types of people or whatever. For, could like, you imagine? Four people. That yeah, like for it, hey, could you imagine that? Yeah, like, <laughs> no. Not, but the problem is because every single person, even the ones that say they don't, they all like want to get big. Uh, right. They like they think they have like 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 a shot at that, as though that didn't happen mostly out of money. <laughs> yeah, and there's like a whole industry around kind of getting people to think that too. It's very like it's, music it's is like, kind of like that. It's like middle it's like a uh, multi-level marketing. <laughs> yeah, no, it seriously is. <laughs> Thank you, three C B B. Oh, I don't on. understand people who aren't afraid of going viral. Oh yeah, I, I'm always afraid of going viral. I really regret it every time it happens. Not that I've ever gone super viral. I've gotten like 4K retweets on a post, like not nothing wild, but yeah. yeah I feel like I if mean, you're gonna be culture phenomenon viral, it's the stuff that if you see it, somebody planned for that to happen. It's not like yeah. A, most of the time, kind of that's usually thing. right. I mean, there are a few random cases, but that's true. 
I mean, I don't know. Yeah, a lot of this, a lot of the stuff that goes viral is just like LA stuff that people were trying to make go viral. <laughs> right. It's like a really big. You, the, the reason it went viral is because they paid a bunch of money to get it <gasps> broadcast everywhere. It's Flinch. Oh, Flinch is in the chat. Flinch is in the you, chat. You've met Flinch, right? Right, Kyle. Uh, Flinch. Hey. I think we've met. Yeah, yeah. several times. Yeah, Flinch is my boyfriend. Flinch. Flinch has a very hot girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me! No, I'm kidding. I'm not dating Flinch. <laughs> That'd be fire. Um, no, I... Yeah. Flinch is in the chat. Flinch, I don't have Flinch emotes yet. I was going to make Flinch emotes for my Twitch chat. Oh, you should. I, I did. I, I'm just waiting for them to get fast. Oh, I don't know how to make it. Do they need to get like approved? I don't know. How did you do it? <laughs> I, I had to submit them to Twitch and then I had to wait for them to get approved. Uh, oh yeah, how long did that take? Because I have only had like it's only it's been less than a week, like a few days. One the like one of them took like like an hour and then one of them took like a week. <laughs> I have oh, okay. no idea why. I think the because poppers it's probably one. just like a, a ticket system and then a, a random amount of people and you know. It sometimes it takes a long time, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. I, I think the poppers one was surprisingly fast. Like surprising because it's the poppers one. Right, that's really funny. What well, which one was slow? Um the the, the Emil one I know took a bit. <laughs> the Emil oh, one It's a good one. That's good a very one. good one. But what am I doing? Am I not interacting with this enough? I'm interacting with this incorrectly? Sometimes, sometimes you be acting, interacting oh. incorrectly. Because this guy's probably here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. There you go. Now you're dead. Yeah, they just say pending. Yeah, that so just means that they're waiting to, to check them out. Okay. They're flinches. <laughs> they're, Twitter they're... didn't. Twitch didn't want to be accused of being homophobic, so they fast tracked the the poppers emote. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Yeah. No. I. I. You know. What? I believe that. I buy that now. <laughs> That's good. What? Could you be having a problem with game? Interact. Clean the tape in my stomach. Hi, Flinch. We got a Baru. We got a Baru posting. We're Baru posting. <laughs> We're yeah. We Baru posting. Do I have that? Am I subscribed to Baru? I'm, I should be. Yeah, I was gonna say if not, you should be. Yeah. I mean, I'm not made of money, but I have enough to do that. Oh, it's fanbite. Wait, did we get? Did we get a fanbite? Are we here? rated by? Oh yeah, people? there they are. Fanbite. Hi. Hello. Echo Spirit hey. Double Nine Double Zero. Thank you. Fanbite is what uh is Merit's Merit's project. Well Merit oh, cool. is a part of the project. I might need to reset um time <laughs> because I think the game broke again. Hunt Tears, yes, this is Heroes Reborn Gemini uh Sagittarius or whatever. Uh I've broken the game several times now. <laughs> yep. Sure have. Wait, you can't have single letter emotes as a brand person, but you can if you're a brand? That's insane. Wait, you can't have what? Like how Fanbyte Single letter emotes. Yeah, like oh. how Fanbyte has the app. Like you can only have that Alex? I guess if you're like a big brand. I think I found the data center. Oh, interesting. That's probably well, can you only have one of them? I bet that's it. Mm. That's probably they don't want people to spell out like Swears, you know, yeah. Slurs, etc. Slurs, yeah, that makes sense. I feel like Twitch is probably the place to find those. Otherwise, it does seem like um, Twitch has an unusually uh, high amount of filters that they need to put on to keep slurs from being said on their in their chats. Like far more than I've seen in like any other area that is also trying to stop slurs from being said. I guess maybe Twitch actually wants to stop it, and that's why it goes overboard. Look, Italian, you could just say slurred. Italian, shockingly difficult to say. 
or, uh, or like, no, no, not <laughs> Italian. It was like Italian and French were like really strongly. Like, I had to like really turn my 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 process like my auto mod down to to get it to stop doing things like to get it to stop censoring like just the word French. Oh my God, that's amazing. Can I can I oh. can I post the the Italian accent meme? Yeah, that should that should be fine now. That should be fine now. Yeah, I should I should have fixed it to to allow people to be Italian phobic. Is French okay, a slur? Yes, I'm really apparently. Glad. I've always been very French, uh, very Italian phobic. So. Okay, did I kill everyone? I posted it. I posted it. Canon Husbando already quoted it. I posted it. Um, okay. Yeah, what's the, like, Franco... Fr Franco is to France, and then, like, what is the Italian version? Um... I don't know. It's not working. Italio. Alex? Can you hear me? <laughs> it's not a slur. It will be when I'm done. <laughs> hmm. Mamma mia phobic. <laughs> I can see the data terminal, but it isn't letting me in. It's asking for a passcode. Oh, I guess this is what that I needed to do. Where you go in the base, the tighter the security. Italic? I did, um, Italic, like the font? Is that what it is for, for Italy? Like Italic phobia? I hope so. Italophobia. I, um, I'm dating a, a Brazilian, and... He had to like come out to me as having uh, largely Italian ancestry. Wait. He was like, "I'm so sorry." <laughs> <laughs> I forget what it was, but I was I, don't, I I I said something, but I was like, "Oh, you can't be blank and also be Italian. You can't just drop this on me." You can't. You can't just. You can't just reveal to me that you are Italian. Yeah, okay, so you have to say. It, you have to say it when you start dating. That's like the rules. Look at these. You have to disclose Italian status to to potential partners. <laughs> Are you or a loved one Italian? You must let them know. <laughs> it is problematic to not do so. Yeah, you get Wait. tested for that. They got ancestry and should <laughs> <laughs> just my should my bit just be phrenology to my Phrenology, but like really like old phrenology where you like <laughs> Believe in like <laughs> categories that don't exist, like that aren't even considered real yeah, now. Yeah, eugenics. eugenics. Because none okay. of them, because none of them exist now. Like, <laughs> can, I be, can I be the eugenics guy? The eugenics guy. <laughs> Tony, please, you're the you're the eugenics madam. Thank you. <laughs> you're a bit more yeah. of an expert than just a guy, than just some guy. I, I'm a I'm a <laughs> madam. I, that makes sense. I like that. I like. The the name of of eugenics. <laughs> I tell you what's wrong. This the, this name's into eugenics. <laughs> One of my friends is checking up on me, and I'm gonna say, "Oh, I'm streaming about eugenics right now." <laughs> <laughs> they call her Madame Calipers because she measures the skulls of any man she meets. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> hey, that, Jay, that that drawing that you have for your avatar is so gorgeous. Uh, which drawing? With with the with the steel reserve. Oh yes, on what is that Discord? Oh, on Twitch. Or, on... Oh yes. Okay, now I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, that is drawn by Gaze. Gaze Hound Art on Twitter. Oh, that's Gaze. That's oh, Gaze. Amazing. That was I a that was him. a gift Gaze drew me for my birthday. Like when we like <laughs> literally were first friends. Uh, part of the reason we know each other is because Gaze was in um, like a chat that I was in, and he was just like, "Oh, I want to practice drawing headshots." So I was like, "Yeah, sure, I'll do one." And he he drew it, and I was just like, "I'm giving you money." <laughs> like like what the fuck? Wait, like, this is good. Did he just did he just drop that on you? Yeah, like he just dropped That's it on so me. So funny. Like That's I had hilarious. no idea he was an artist or that he drew that well. It was like That's when we first. So it was like funny. shortly after we first met. Although just dropping that on people is like one of the funnest things in the world. It's a good flex. Surprise. <laughs> Where? Okay, I'm trying to find a note. Is what he said. Like a note or a password. Is there like an objective thing that'll tell me what to do? No. 
but like I have no idea where that could be. Oh. Can someone look up where the note that I'm looking for in this game is? <laughs> Yeah, this is such a video game. I don't know, yeah. like, like this is such a video game. That's so true. <laughs> it's like exactly what, like, it's just what video games are. Okay, see, because yeah. I can interact with it, but I need a note, is what they're saying. I don't know if I was expecting, like, a, like, a Tell of Tales game or whatever, the, the, like, or whatever, the... Oh, found it. Memorize what? or destroy. Cool. I thought it was going to be one of those story games or something. Like, you know what I mean? Can I just grab this from back here? Whoa! Yeah, hold on, go. watch this. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, nice. I like it. Yeah. I can't believe it was just to the right of this thing and I kept walking past it. Good. Got it. Great. Move. Telltale games. That's the one. <laughs> wow. When I forget game comes. Why is he uh, so padded? <laughs> oh my god, please. What does that mean? Well, he's covered in pads. Oh, well, oh that he's makes gone sense. now. Oh wait, no, he's still alive. Fuck, run. <laughs> Dude, Daddy Yellow says, damn you think, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I uh I read like a weird article about um padding in um like um what's the word like plus size clothes modeling. Wait, what? Like do they make them wear pads? Yeah, so like I read this article uh once upon a time and I, I have some friends who are like I have some friends who are in like the like fat phobia like like I don't know who are involved in like talking about the. Cat I, I thought you were saying for a second that you have friends who are like, yeah, it's friends involved in the fat phobia <laughs> community. Like their 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 thing they're really into like, is like being fat phobic. <laughs> yeah, like I was like, where I was like, where could this possibly be going? I mean, that would just be LA, but like, yeah, yeah no, uh, uh yes, uh, the, <laughs> my uh, yeah, I have some friends involved in that guy. So so I read articles about that kind of thing sometimes, uh, and. There's this one about like, basically like, uh, like, like plus size models like being encouraged by photographers and stuff like that to wear like these like foam pads that like go on your hips, on your thighs, and your stomach or whatever to make you look bigger. And you could just stuff like a bunch of pads in, in under your clothing. And you know there were plus size models that were talking about doing that in this article and how like be feeling pressure to do it and et cetera and so forth. Um, and it's like, hmm? I was like, that's wild. No, keep going. Yeah. Oh yeah, and it's just a fascinating thing because you wouldn't think about that, but like just that that's, that's a thing that you that they could be like pressured into doing. Yeah. Um, I don't know, it's just interesting. It was an interesting because it, it makes sense because they were like, yeah, a lot of these things are like, you know, uh, there's obviously like just plus size clothes uh, modeling, but there was also like, like, you know, like body positivity sort of related stuff. And then like people were like, you know, encouraged to pad themselves into a different body to, to take those photos. Was the idea oh. that it was to like make them thicker for the clothes or was it like making their shapes like more appealing? I think it's mo it's both mm, like, right. um, but yeah, I mean the article was kind of just discussing the thing. I thought it was a good. I love a subject where I'm like, oh, this exists in like a non tiny way, and yet I've never ever thought about it. You know, like that that kind of stuff always interests me as an article. Yeah. Hang on, I'm coming for you. But yeah, I think it was just like you know, this is just an interesting, a weird thing that happens, and like, is it bad? Is it good? I don't know. You know, like that. That was kind of the subject, and I don't know. It was interesting, but. So yeah, that's what I was thinking when you said padded. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. <laughs> I was like, where? I was like, how did we get there? <laughs> Even in body positive plus photography, they cannot escape unrealistic standards. It's really like wild yeah, to just think about that. Just like, oh yeah, yeah no, like we can't. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Okay, are you gonna jump and then change time? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. You... 
So. Wait. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, so I need to get over there. So if I travel back, okay, cool. Crap! Am I? I was like, am I out of crouch? <laughs> Is my crouch meter <laughs> you're out? Right, you're right ah! out of crouch stamina. <laughs> Your knees gave out. <laughs> level level nine. We're blowing through this game. Mm. I'm being I'm being asked for food. <laughs> I'm gonna go feed kids. Is that okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll I'll be I'll be back in a bit. I just have to throw some stuff in the pot and then it'll be done in a bit. So I'll just start, go and come back. Whoa. There's a skeleton in here. What's up, buddy? <laughs> oh, but you're not here in the past. You're just... <laughs> Wait, so his his bed is That's still here in the words. past. And his Amazon package is here in the past. Like, did this guy come here and then just, like, die? He, like, yeah. knocked over his milk and then died. But his, like, soda is still here. That's visual storytelling. Um, I love, I love <laughs> games. I love when games tell stories. I don't know where this game wants me to go now. Ugh, Kyle, I can't wait until we can hang out again. Yeah. It's been so fucking long. You know, my birthday is going to be, like, the one-year anniversary of lockdown. Oh shit, did yeah. you, is it, is it on like the 11th? The 23rd. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, you should come over though, I'm getting a uh, turbo tomorrow. Turbo? Mm-hmm. What's, oh, the bunny. Oh, hold on, let me change my, uh, my mic settings, but yeah, I'm gonna get him tomorrow. For some reason you said that, and my first thought was like, turbo tax? Because I, I, I spent all day today doing my taxes. So I was like, I was like, are you? He's like, yeah, I'm getting TurboTax tomorrow. I'm going to, I'm thinking I'm going to get a lot of money in my refund. It's just like, yeah, get it. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, uh, I'm thinking about reassessing my mortgage and we're thinking about adding 1.5 bathrooms to the house. Who's this bitch? She needs to calm down. Oh, I just go through here. Oh, hey, maintenance room. Uh, yeah, no, we'll, we'll figure something out. We could probably do some sort of, like, socially distanced hangout arrow. Especially because by that point, it's, um, it's going to be, like, warmer out. And I know that they learned from last year that, like, whoa, these tissue papers freaking out. I know they learned from last year that, like, masked up socially <laughs> distanced hangouts outside in the sun no way through here. Is, is safe. Because they had a bunch yeah. of protests that were basically that, and, and nothing, and nothing, nothing sick, happened. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, that would be cool. The I just work all the fucking time. Is the problem? Yeah, no, that's... like literally all I do now is work and make music. Alex, they were holding prisoners here in the past. Uh -oh. I think they were, they were holding prisoners here in the past. Oh, dude. Maybe what that guy that like crawled away and died was a prisoner. Oh, that's why he had a soda in there. Yeah, this is prison soda. Oh, here we go. That's what the game wants me to do. Jump up. I don't know why slowing down time makes her jump better. Oh, look, Free them. Oh! Uh. I wonder if you can let them out and they'll like fight the guys with you. Oh fuck, that would that would be cool. Hold on, I wanna grab this guy. Oh fuck. Grab this guy. No, come on, touch the. I need you to touch this thing. There you go. <laughs> There you go. Wait, what? <laughs> the fucking slow motion sound effects of him. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. 
There's this level in Tomb Raider 3 where you like go to prison and you don't have any weapons or anything and you have to like solve one of the first puzzles by letting all the prisoners out and they just beat up the guards for you. <laughs> I love games like that. It takes longer it's... for the Gravitarons to catch up to you. <laughs> Out of my way. Why do they keep saying that? They're like, safety's off. Like, okay, bro, I don't care. Safe that. Oh. You know, they have all these cells, but not a lot of prisoners in them. I think she's maybe being a little too quick to judge. Oh, what the fuck happened to this guy? He's just chilling. He's got scoliosis. <laughs> He's got <laughs> <laughs> My man's spine looks like the cool S. <laughs> Jesus. Want to no clip in there. What? Suits up here. Oh, more grids for me to kill people on. The... Ah! <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, they fucking tricked me with that one. Oh, wait, hold on. Check this out. Ah, I'm in jail! Let me out! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Any other jail cells I can get into. I remember in uh, in Mist. Oh no, it was Riven. There's like, I was eight when I played it, so I had no idea how to collect all the pieces and stuff. And you can get to this point where once you reach a stage in the game, it just sends you to like a jail cell and you can't progress. And <laughs> I'm like eight years old, so I think like, what the fuck? This game sucks. Like, it's just the end of it. Wait, which game is this? It was Riven. It was one of the missed games. It's like a point-and-click uh, adventure game from oh, the 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know it's you. Actually, Ruggles, are you in the chat? I know Ruggles played it. There we go. It's a little jump puzzle. Done and done. Ooh, control room. Yeah, no, the Mist games are really fun. They were like, uh, I don't know, I, when I had played them, I didn't really get the concept of like how they even worked. So it was just a lot of exploration and looking at stuff and the world design is super cool. Uh, there's like some old games I was looking at that, uh, that were like of that era that looked like pseudo things. Oh, right. I forgot that Ruggles has this weird thing where their VPN makes it so they can't post in the chat unless they highlight their message. <laughs> it's like a weird thing where it's like Twitch is punishing them for using the, a VPN, I think. So it's like, oh, we want to make sure you're not a, a spammer. <laughs> yeah. Look, everybody, they're a VPN user. <laughs> yeah, look, look, aha, everyone point laugh at the VPN uh... user. Oh, what, you get NordVPN? You got that so you can watch my anime list? <laughs> Yeah, it said that on the side. Oh, it doesn't explode. I don't care. Oh. Fuck. I got trapped right... It's like a big tree. Uh, I guess it's like the first transition into the next book or whatever. Oh, okay. Let me find these guys. Where are they? 
Man, this mechanic, like, I, I, I'm thinking about, like, the thing Tony was saying about, like, these games being, like, like, games that were probably developed for something else and then just licensed for Heroes. And I'm like, I'm so curious what the concept of this game was before. Because these are, like, interesting mechanics. They're just uh, not well executed. <laughs> yeah. They're very low budget executed. I kind of wonder too, because there's not much crossover besides like the characters and the fact that they can do superhuman shit. Yeah. Wait, Where the characters not really interacting with the characters, but just that they know they exist in that universe. They like say their names. I I think it's what the fuck. <laughs> Oh, that's disgusting to look at. That doesn't. Oh, right, whatever. <laughs> I I'm just repulsed by that line. Disgusting. It just looked like a fucking like, like like umbilical cord just suddenly appearing before it. Yeah, just like oh, playing in the first. Go back in time. No, what do you want? What do you want here? I'm at the button. What does this game want from me? Oh, I guess here's like probably like, oh, another way you can do it. Let me see. There's like a way to bring up past dialogues, and I'm trying to remember what it was. Here it is. Alright, well, nothing useful there. Uh-oh. Well, now I know why this was up here. It was for if you fuck up like I just did. game one. What do you want from the game? Can you really not open the door once it's closed? Right? I don't understand why I can't open it from my side. interest in tracking children just a little bit disturbing what <laughs> what why was it here <laughs> what are you talking about this looks suspiciously like a pizza parlor yeah <laughs> wait where did the battery go oh i see i took it into the past Well, then how am I supposed to... Okay. There's that other generator pad. That one? Oh, wait. It's busted. This game should let you bring the battery back to, like, 1800. Yeah, well, I, I think she's limited to one time like, time zone for some reason. 
Mountains. I'm trying to figure out if there's like another, like if I'm missing uh, another, uh, one of these powder power packs. What does the other generator pad do? This one? So this is one that turns on this machine so I can use it. So I need to get the battery into here without closing the door. Oh, wait, 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 I have an idea. Yeah, okay, that worked. I had to slow down time. Oh, that was uh, that was the one that I got this from. I'm pretty sure. Oh, this soldier looks special. Yeah, he's got a hoodie on. It makes him look a bit dork. Also, I guess it breaks the door and keeps it open. I just brought that guy through time. Whatever was supposed to be so hard about that guy doesn't matter because I can just pick him up and put him against an electric panel. You should be able to steal a man into a different time period and be like, if you kill me, you'll be unable to return to your family. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, the special part is that he's an idiot with a fencing mask. There I go. <laughs> oh, assume he, like, what, is immune to slowdown? Oh, maybe. It didn't really matter because I didn't need to slow him down. Oh, shit. Tile dropped from the call. Oh, okay. Good thing no one was around to hear that. No, she didn't die. She just fell however many stories that was, and it's okay now. Hmm. That looks like a collectible in there. Oh yeah, somebody glued a comic... That look. looking like me is just a coincidence, right? Oh man, that looks I've never done anything terrible. Like <laughs> Why would someone paint it? Why would someone paint it and leave it there? That 
that looking like me is just a coincidence, right? I've never done anything like Who's that. Who's she asking? Why would someone paint it? Alex is down here somewhere. Where are they holding him? Oh, good. Water textures. <laughs> well done, water textures. <laughs> what did all game tie in motion comics look like that? I think, honestly, it actually probably was. Like, I think it was actually, like, just one studio did them. Oh, there we go. You aren't guard. I'm looking for a friend of mine. Oh, okay. You gotta get me out of here. If you get me out of here, I can help you find your friend. My power is I, I can find know friends. I can trust you. you. got a better option? Good point. Let me see what I can do. Hold on one second. Jesus! Oh, I thought those were bugs. Holy shit! So I gotta get that guy out of here. I'm assuming I gotta find guards and just waste them. Whoa. Just trap him in there, that's my plan. <laughs> There's gotta be like some items I can pick up and use as well. That's right. Oh, uh, I can't get rid of that. Okay. 
The combat in this game seems not particularly interesting. The problem is that they give you a lot of systems, but like nothing to do with them really. Like I can do all these things, but then like what ends up being best is just popping in and out of time and throwing things at these guys, you know? Like it doesn't actually end up really mattering if I go out of my way to do this or that. Like, ultimately, I'm just going to be doing this again. Ooh. There we go. Am I missing someone else? Is the door unlocked now? The game should steal, like, 30% more from Mirror's Edge. I agree! Yeah! I think I'd be having a lot... Well, I guess I'm not having a terrible time. Wow, they just haven't cleaned that shit up at all. Uh, I'm absolutely going to just end up being the person who goes back in time and causes the fire, right? Like, that seems like where the game's going with this bit. Let's see. Pick up this desk. Ooh. another desk it was only it only looked like a free running game because jay was the one playing it that's fair yeah that's kind of kind of how i play games anyone else in here no who said that ah you oh i think that was all of them Oh shit, I think I let him all out. Is there is there just a prison riot happening out there? Air bill. What the fuck is he talking about? The game wouldn't even let me go through the door. Oh. That's right, buddy. I'm beating you with the corpse of your friend. Oh. Come on, stop. Stop! What the? No! 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 He stun locked me! He stun locked me! He stun locked me! Help! <laughs> oh, okay. Well. They couldn't smash their safety inspection because a teen smashed all their fa fire safety equipment. The full military wannabe look, but with his discount Puma Steve. Oh, I gotta pay attention to these guys' sneakers next. Oh, wait. Okay, so I've already hit that. Excuse me. Oh, fuck. 
This really is just the best strategy. It's just TKing them over and over again. Any other guys in here? No. Why this teenager has every power? Oh, so she. Is someone shooting me? What the fuck? So she has the time power and then. She injected herself with telekinesis powers. Just, just, just a ton of source engine collision sounds. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Is there anything I'm missing here? No. Okay. Oh, another one of these guys. Oh, come on! I lied. I was a liar. Hey. I said I'd be back soon, but I wasn't. Oh, that wasn't. That's fine. I, Although I, I, have, I, I had to tear up a, time right now. I had to tear up a tree, apparently, to kill this guy. Was apparently That's my fair. big mission because the tree had That's a marker on it, so I just ripped it up and then I left. Maybe that tree did something to someone's family. Oh, the tree might be why the guys uh, guys here. So he's mm -hmm. like, I need you to get revenge on on that tree for me, and then I'll help you find your friend. <laughs> so is there actually a plot in this game or what? Uh, me and my idiot friend decided to come here to find more information about my parents, and then I fell down and found out I had time powers. And now this corporation oh. is trying to kill us or steal our powers. That oh, part's... I probably... I'm a, that yep. part is all I, I, is, I'm a little unclear of. Huh, that's weird. I made, um... Uh, what's it called? Uh, I made a, a donabe. It's yummy. Wait. Oh! God damn you making it. chair happen? Yeah, no, I think I know what has to happen here is that I need to grab that tree and then bring it over here. And then when I go to the future, this is the only time the game has done this. Yeah, you plant the tree there and then in the future, it's a big tree and you can use it. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. I mean, it's cute, but it's annoying that that's the only place that did that, but it's cute. It's, it's the first time the game has done anything like it. Oh, oh. She also had, it's, it's one of the few things she hasn't commented on in any way to give me a that's hint true, that that's yeah. what she was no, thinking. No one was saying that unless we just missed it. I, I feel like I've been consistently sequence breaking the game in ways where because I go to certain areas in the wrong order, it, it doesn't play the dialogue that I need to hear. Because like with the code thing, it didn't play the code like the first time I did it. So like this was not nada. a thing that I ever. Oh cool. Well, it's a tree. That's cool. What did I? The, do, chat. Do you want to see my uh, my food I made? Oh wait. Wait, I have no idea what you want to do here. Press X to interact. People want to see the food? Oh yeah, I saw a yes. There's two yeses. All right, let me go. Where's the? Oh. Where am I? What? Where's the... what? Oh. You got treed. I. What did she do with the tree? <laughs> well, you know. She just rode the tree up. Just sometimes you go up with tree. Uh, Avalon Trigger. Yeah, it's it, it is the company, and like it is the big bad of the game. Oh my god, this is so good. This is so good. What did good. you make? What Chat, did you... do you want some? I made a donabe with like pork. Mm. Let's see, from the top left on the top. So there's pork and um, daikon radish as the base. And then the, the broth is uh, kombu, 
and shiitake, dried shiitakes, and then there's a whole bunch of pork in it. So, oh, um, that sounds so good. And, yeah, and then like the, the stuff on top in the photo I posted in the chat is like shiitakes. Uh, so going clockwise, it's shiitakes, uh, yam noodles, carrots, cut into like little orchids. Although I don't know, is that the right month? This is the right season for orchids, right? I mean, we're entering spring. Um, not orchids. I, I definitely know a lot about uh, seasons and food. Yeah. I'm not uh, in California then... anymore. I can't know these things. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Um, let's see. Oh, green onions and then kimchi. Yum. Mmm, kimchi. I, yeah, it's um, really good. My slow cooker thing was like orange marmalade and teriyaki sauce and like a thickener. Uh, the recipe called for like tapioca, like, like quick, quick acting tapioca. Um, but I just used uh tapioca starch and then a bit of cornstarch because it works well, wait and that it. what what was what did that make so it's it's to make the sauce out of the orange marmalade and a couple seasonings and um oh god what was the other thing i said teriyaki sauce uh and uh -huh. then i cooked i used the slow cooker to cook that and a bunch of uh like a bag of frozen air quotes asian vegetables which is just broccoli green beans and water chestnuts uh mm. chicken in my slow cooker that sounds so good yeah no it, it, it came out when it came out i was like oh this doesn't like look as good as i thought it would and then when i like started eating it i was like oh this tastes great actually this is perfect I gotta that figure out how to make it visually wild. visually appealing, but flavorful. Oh, that's always tricky. Exciting. I I find you know there's a lot of stuff you can throw on stop on top of stuff. There's stuff like I have some. It's so like one of my one of my favorite things is um, chili crisp. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll throw this is obvious for savory food. Chili crisp is this like little bottle of like crispy garlic uh, that's fried with chilies, I believe. Uh, and it's just like a very savory, nice, yummy thing. And but the other thing about it is that it's like super red. It's like deep deep red so chili crisp is really good for getting this like food effect where there's just this, like really stark contrast in color Ooh. Uh, and uh and it's not even spicy or anything right so i just i i honestly use it more to like make the food look good then so, uh yeah, i have a lot of like tricks i mean it does it does taste good it's not like i'm not making good food it just it tastes good but also looks really nice uh, and I don't know. I like I like the fun of making food look nice. It's it's just fun. Yeah, no, I get you. I I I finally started to realize that like when I travel through time. Oh wait, sometimes the the indicator on that thing will tell me whether or not uh, I'm in the right time period. Basically, what's this fucking? What are you? What are you alerting me to right there? Whatever. I don't have to worry about it right now. <laughs> Cannon host Bando. I just crumble up flaming Hot Cheetos for that. Yeah, no, great. That's a... Hey, if it works, <laughs> it works. <laughs> I don't... That wouldn't be that outrageous, honestly. Like, if it, if you could do it in a way where it still looked charming, I think you could pull it off. I mean, like... Oh, my God. I chopped that man into a about fan. Itchy food, though. I can't... I think... I think... I think food is the right. place where kitsch is like really not appreciated because I think people are just tired of kitsch just in general all the time. And food is like the thing you have to eat. Yeah. Like you, you have to consume this thing. <laughs> Meanwhile, I love kitsch food. I th oh, this, yeah? that, this is the thing we've talked about this, I think, with, with Gaze, the person who did my icon, where it's like Gaze just like has a such a genuine love for kitsch and oh, like yeah. kitschy food. In a way that I just oh, like really? cannot understand. Like that's like, so cool. Like he, it'll be like, oh, Seven Eleven has a new uh, double stuffed Doritos uh, nacho cheddar thing, and he'll be like, yeah, I got it. It's so good, dude. And it's like he's like serious. Like he's not like doing that's a bit. That's so cool. I yeah. love that. No, I, I love it for him. I love that. I think that slaps. Although, did you ever go to Butter in San Francisco? No. What's Butter? Butter is this, oh, that sucks, I, I wish he could have taken you. Uh, Butter is a bar in San Francisco that has like all kind of kitschy stuff. Uh, so all of the like, all of the cocktails are made with stuff like Kool-Aid and stuff like that. Um, it's just all like kitschy food. So, and then they make like tater tots and like just stuff like that. Like 
Frito pies and tater tots. Mm. And so, like, it's a whole bar where, like, literally all the stuff you consume is, like, kind of kitschy. Kitschy foods. Oh, that sounds good. I, 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 love, I, love, I love a good quiche. Uh, I love a good quiche as well, which I haven't made in a while, actually. Yeah. Sometimes I get huge pallets of eggs from um, from Safeway. Like there's like the the five uh, dozen eggs, I think, or maybe six dozen. Um, sometimes I'll get that pallet, and it's like suddenly I'm like looking up for egg re recipes all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> we have like seven people in our house, so we can use them. But, oh yeah, yeah that's always honestly that's like the one thing that's a problem with like live or like one of the bigger problems with like living by myself as it were is that Ooh. it's like very or not by myself but like cooking for myself yeah is yeah, that yeah. it's it's very hard to i uh do a lot of meal prep because a lot of my meal prep i have to do has to be like with the expectation that even if my roommates have some they will probably have like one or two portions of it because they're not they're gonna feel weird eating like my food Mm -hmm. Oh, that guy just fucking hopped up. What? Alright, well you're being an asshole. So you go into the death fan. Sometimes you go into the death fan. Everyone, all right. Well, bye guys. Thanks for the <laughs> thanks for the tour. Yeah, no, Pump is here. It, it, it's that. It's like I have to have like days where I'm like I have planned like this is the day that I am going to be doing meal prep. Uh, I have to like this on this day I am going to make this meal uh, because otherwise I just like won't do them. Yeah. Uh, I which, which is frustrating, but it's like it's it's fine. There's definitely benefits to it. Uh, I don't have to deal with like the thing of like, oh, you made a really good meal and you're really looking forward to eating it again later. Just kidding. Uh, it only made four portions, and so they've all been eaten because you. There are three people in the house who who I ate it. So um, but it does mean I, I tend to preempt towards like meals that make like like minimum four to six servings uh yeah and, it's, and then it's freeze so much, well and then keep yeah well. that makes sense yeah i i do love the fact that i can just like cook as much as i want and then like any excess that i have made will like vanish oh uh, yeah because i have roommates and they'll just eat it all and that's fine like i i actually so like let's let, let's so you know living with me uh, yeah. Everyone in the chat can just hear about this. Living with me, I, I love uh, talking about this stuff. It's fun. Uh, hey. Means that uh, every time I cook, I cook like fancy food. And if anybody missed the uh, dinner I made, I'm actually gonna post it again. Just in case I want to post it again because yeah. it tastes so good. By the way, it's good. It you did good. So good. It's so good. Uh, anyways, um, be, uh, so I'll make these fancy meals or whatever, right? And I make them pretty big. And there's like six people in our house, but not everyone eats all the time. Uh, and we don't really keep track of that. Um, and so I'll make food and then I uh, will take it, all the leftovers, and like put them in individual serving like containers so that people can kind of easily just grab them out of the fridge and eat them. Oh, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it's really good. Like, so I just turn all of the leftovers into like bentos, basically. I mean, I guess it's just meal prep, but. I, and that's a lot of like basically what I did when I was like making food for my work week is like I would make enough portions for like I'm working these many days, so I'm going to preemptively make that amount of food and then uh, put divide them up into individual servings so I just grab them on my way to work every day. Yeah, no, that's smart and it's so cheap. It's so amazing. Like, like lunch can be like you know, lunch could be like fifteen dollars, or it could be like seventy cents. Yeah. Like depending on like meal prep, like meal prep just makes things so makes eating so incredibly cheap. Chad, if you ever need uh, advice on getting started on good meal prep practices, uh, budget bites or pick up like at a thrift anything called like 
college cookbook or like college prep cooking like anything or like dorm room cooking like all of that shit is made or if it's branded college it is basically going to be written with the assumption that you are an adult who does not know how to cook <laughs> who, who is living on your own for like the first time Ooh, look that i can't interact with Oddly enough, I can't pick up uh, a lot of the things here. Pick up some of these I, hey, look what I, I can was, do. I was thinking about making a um. I was thinking about making like a budget food uh. Like. Two doctors. Recipe not book of some sort. And you're not one of us either. I mean, if you uh, can, it's people. People love that stuff, and it's definitely. Yeah. I just find that I found kind of like a lot of the budget food stuff seems to leave off a lot of like kind of. Just world, like ethnic food, I guess. And what about your parents? That I know about, but I guess most people don't. Yeah, and no, that's. A lot of, that's always been yeah. my problem is trying to find, like, recipes for like food that isn't Western or isn't as accessibly yeah, exactly. Westernized. Yeah. Because like I'll so find recipes like, sometimes and I'll be like, oh, this sounds great, and then I'll make it and I'm like, oh, this is, this recipe but made uh, without flavor. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but made with mayo. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, it's true, and that's kind of one of the things I found with a lot of the, the budget stuff, and I, I get that, but, um, like, I get why, but it's just, I, I, I often, I'm like, you know, there's, like, a lot of really cheap food that you can make that's just not, like, American food, um, that, I don't know, it seems like, I often feel like a lot of people don't know about, but then again, I, I do a lot of weird food research around the world, because I like to really... I don't know. I, I like new foods. I like learning about stuff uh, regarding food. But then, then I learn about a food from somewhere in the world, and then like nowhere near me has it. So I have to like try to rep replicate food I've never eaten, which yeah. is always dangerous. I just brought this man into the past, or no? I guess I brought him into the future and then killed him. Since I guess this is technically in the past. All right, let me f cause a time paradox by freeing this girl from the past. Whoa! What the? Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. oh also, Wait. simply add MSG. Little Strohs is right. So, so Lonnie and James have gotten me onto picking up stuff from the Asian market here. Uh, and the big one they had me pick up recently was MSG. Yeah, that goes in all of my meals. Yeah. Like every single thing I serve has MSG on it. Like it's, I always, uh, I have so many times where like people have been like, "Oh my god, this is amazing! What did you do?" And I'm like, "MSG? <laughs> it's just something with salt and MSG on it." <laughs> chat, yeah, chat. The thing about MSG is if you go to an Asian market too, I got like a sack of it. Well, not like oh, a yeah. sack, but like a sizable bag for like a dollar fifty. Mm-hmm. Like it was, it was like nothing, and I've just put, I loaded it up into a shaker, wrote MSG on it, and I've just been like putting it in my recipes, like as I make them, and it's like, I, it's added, it, it adds flavor. It's just a flavor enhancer. You know, it's weird. I've kind of found that a lot of Italian food doesn't seem to want MSG in it. Like it just gets I, weird if you add MSG. I could see that. I don't know why. I think it kills some of the like bright flavor that some of the Italian food has. Yeah. No, no, it's just anecdotal, just a thing. Otherwise, pretty much anything is better with MSG. Obviously, I think it's. Any, I, I yeah. assume because it's like they had an umami enhancer yeah. specifically. Oh, I yeah. just don't think that goes well with like tomato heavy stuff. Yeah, I guess that's true. I think Italian food tends to be more acidic than anything. Yeah. So if you're just bringing out the acidicness of it, it, it doesn't really work. <laughs> oh, here we go. I gotta do this. You are unable to time shift in this area? Why? Uh, doesn't tomato also have a lot of MSG type flavor? That is true. Uh, and, and tomatoes have umami and sun-dried tomatoes would be the like ultimate concentration of that. Nice. Um, but mostly tomatoes are... Sweet and sour. Sweet and acidic. Uh, but that being said, adding sweetness and acid is oftentimes beneficial just in general. So, love your local tomato people. If you time shift, they'll shoot your friend. Oh, that makes sense. Wait, really? I, they probably said something like that. Thanks to you.
Why does this guy look like he's a villain now? Oh, he's the villain! Look, Cassandra, there's a lot I said that I had to say to get you down. <laughs> Why is he standing like the villain? Yeah, I was like, oh, that's weird. He's going into, like, villain animation mode. And it's literally like, oh, he's the villain? He just hunches his back slightly. Yeah, his shoulders got wider. Posture. He went from a nerd to like uh to like a Chad posture, and I was like, "That's a villain." <laughs> nice work, Alex. What? And I'm uh, I'm Alex from the future. <laughs> oh. I got a BA. You and Mason. You know him? Now, now. You know what they say about shooting the messenger. Don't do it. <laughs> For him. Alex meant no harm. He solved the millennium puzzle. I knew if you came back here, traveled along your own timeline, it would jog your memories. Also that I needed you people to shoot at you. Before. Yes. This was your home for a time. Hi Sarah. Home, what, are you, what are you talking about? You see I once worked for a company called Primatech. Okay. Specialized in the All right. study of evils. Hey, uh, Tony, However, maybe you can answer this. Uh, so this game is called Gemini Heroes are Born, right? Mm-hmm. So, I left so the file, and this is the game being launched through Steam, is displayed as Traveler Game, 64-bit PCD 3D SM5. Well, uh, that could be like a weird heroes thing because they did do a lot of weird stuff where they use weird file names and stuff for various things. And like, so like all the hero stuff was actually very into like all of its side media being like coded in a weird way so that like they're, they might contain a clue about the show or something. Uh, like, like so, the lost like ARG kind of stuff. Yeah, it was a lot of stuff like that and that file t file name you just said sounds like a file name that would exist in this universe yeah thing. yeah all right it's possible i i i'd assumed that it was like is that like leftover from whatever the game originally was whoa no i don't think so oh i see wait i mean no well, oh no i don't think so it could be but that would be a very weird mistake to make yeah pretty funny though i mean this game has a lot of weird mistakes Look that's at true oh cool oh come on you broke my projectile look at his fucking he walks like a fucking brat he is he's he's uh yeah he's he's chatting at you He's literally doing Chad walk at me right now. <laughs> I can't believe I'm being aggressively Chad walked at. What's 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 your character's name? Uh, Cassandra. Cassandra, the 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 virgin Cassandra. <laughs> Versus the hey. Chad. Hold R2 to charge a powerful telekinetic blast. Wait, what happened to him? Use it to attack enemies if you can't find an object to throw. Okay. Ow. He just is down there now with superpowers. Yeah. Okay. What was okay, sure. Got him. What? Whoa. What's what the hell is this? I don't know. I don't know what this boss fight is. <laughs> This is actually a lot more embarrassing than the rest of the game was. Oh. Oh, wait, did, all those items he was attacking me with are just gone now. No, they're fine. They're, they're gone. You, you defeated them. Got him. I don't think it's fair that he can fall through the fans and I can't. Can I even... Ow! Oh, okay. See, I gotta do like this or something. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Ah! <laughs> ah! Uh. <laughs> Mm. Well, I see. That's different. Why do you come? <laughs> Donkey Punch Bandit, thank you for following. Did he? Oh, he like knocked me into a room. But I don't think I'm supposed to be <laughs> in this room yet. You're in the safe zone. It's fine. Don't worry about it. 
Yeah, Jay, you're you're just like this. All you do it all you do be jumping in rooms you're not allowed to be in. Yeah, oh fuck, that didn't work. Okay, I'm going back into the room. Turn off turn off slow. Stop! Stop throwing stop! Did you stop? Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Non-binaries be like sequence break. <laughs> I have no clipped out of all possible levels, including gendered. <laughs> On all possible levels, I am no clipping. <laughs> Chat, Tony's funny. Tony is very... Hey, chat, can I get an, uh, an A in the chat if Tony, if Tony is funny? What would no, be the I'm opposite saying, of an I'm F? Saying, I was saying chat Tony is funny. Oh, okay. Well, he told me to run. I don't know why that, that what, popped back up again. What? What? I've never heard of an A in the chat. Is that a thing? No, but I oh, needed to come up with something. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I literally, like, half the time I join one of your streams as a spectator, I, like... Like most of my messages for a while are like, "What does this do? Yeah. What is this? <laughs> I don't know what I don't know how to use this stuff." That's true. I did actually. I do have someone writing all my jokes for me. To be fair, to be fair, I have stolen so much funny, so many good jokes and just funny content in general from Ursus Untitled right there. So. Uh, if you want to know who I steal all the good jokes from, that's the one. <laughs> he says a lot I, of funny things. I can't things. believe he just throws me into this room by accident that's every time. so funny. <laughs> There's no way to, like, jump through that door or something? Okay, can you fight for- oh, okay. I guess he's throwing you through the window. I can't turn off slow down time. There we go. Oh, That's wait. me, the Valor Thief. I steal bear valor. Whoa, 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 whoa fuck! Where did you put me? Okay. okay. No, I want I want you to stop hitting me. Gotcha. Alright, now to go into- where's the safe room? Where's the safe room? Oh my god, I gotta get into the safe room. Ah! Oh! The stealing val bear valor is Praxis? No! You have to protect bears. Um, although, fortunately, um, Ow. fortunately, the bear in question is technically a black bear, so that's vermin, I think. I don't think you have to protect those. But do. Do anyway. I just like bears. I can't be mean to bears. I'm sorry. The joke the joke ends when I'm really mean, and I can't do that. I like. You're really too. bad at being really mean. I'm I notice so you feel like that. immediate guilt, I notice, when you're being Are mean. You? <laughs> I do. There was one of those, sh like, shitty idiot, like you know, memes that people put online that are like, oh, this is so me, you know? Yeah. Where it's like a bunch of things. And then I saw one and I was like, it was so me and I was so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. what and the I fuck did like, I just do? I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be it me guy. <laughs> Tony the Valor yeah. Thief. No, that's fine, puppies. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not a... Yeah. No, that's... The... You could totally make Tony... You could totally make stealing Valor jokes. And this chat? <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's fine. I, I had no problem with that joke. I'm sorry if I made it sound like I had a problem with it. Wow. I somehow managed to negate fall damage because it was still a cutscene. Nice. Got him. <laughs> Jay, I might hire you for QA testing someday. I, people keep saying like that I should do QA testing, and I'm just like, I literally don't know how to get involved in that. But I, I Wait, what? It. Really? It's so easy. Like you, you know a lot of people that could get you get you involved with that. But what does that not testing, work on him? Q QA testing is weird because like anyone who really wants to get into it usually like doesn't understand what what it entails because yeah, it's actually like, like terrible. Yeah, does it doesn't get that it's not just like you are playing a you get to play video games. It's like no, you get to oh. you get to. Do what I like to do, which is just try to break a game over and over, but in right, like yeah, one you're, spot. You're the only person that should be a QA tester because you actually enjoy this for some reason. 
I think it's fun. I think it's really cool to see how a game can be broken. Also, because I don't play games like a normal person, I tend to be the person who's just like, Hey, what happens if you do this? Yeah, uh, Canon Husbando is correct. QA is also super undervalued and underpaid. Yeah, I have regularly seen people, like, so, like, we're trying to kind of hire some uh, external QA um, for some big projects, but, like, we see people, people being like, oh, my God, wait, I'm going to get in trouble. Uh, we okay. see people being like, oh, one of the major... Uh, uh, one of my, the major uh, publishers hires me for QA. I'm like, how, how much do they pay you? Oh, fifteen dollars an hour. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Buddy, I assure you, they got money. <laughs> they got more money than that. Yeah, no, uh, fifteen an hour is 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 surprise. Is like that's that's minimum that's, wage now. <laughs> that's not unskilled labor. Yeah. I don't know. Sorry. I, let's not get into how much people pay people in the game industry. Oh yeah, we'll be here all day. <laughs> <laughs> I Ooh. pay people fairly. Got him. Got him again. There he goes. God, Cannon Responder, that's disgusting. What? What did they say? Oh, no, they just said uh, external QA, $8 an hour, 10 hour weeks. Wow, that's... I mean, that's something where it's like, I guess if I'm gonna, like... Do it as like an extreme side gig, I guess. If it's just eighty bucks for 10 the, hours. the problem is, it's not even like playing games. You spend most of your time filling out reports about the games you played, like and like doing that while you play. It's uh, it's not. That's what I, yeah. That's a lot of what I've heard is that it's like you you do you like try to find something or like you're you're in specific things and you're trying to do specific goals in terms of like can you make sure that this specific thing is working or this specific area is working and yep. you just like. Or, do, or you do, have a script. Yeah. And you just do things like over and over that you're trying to make sure work. And if you get a mistake, you basically have to try to recreate it. Yeah, and you have to recreate it. And so there's steps for that. And then um, every step of the way, there's like a bunch of paperwork you have to do. But I mean, it's not literal paperwork just on, on the computer, but uh, filling out all the details of like what you did, when it happened, what the conditions were, etc. So yeah. it's a lot of like just like... Uh, I, it, you could definitely say I, I've heard. I feel uh, that you spend more time filling out crap than actually playing anything. Not that the playing part is fun either, but I think that a lot of people don't, also don't realize how much of that data entry there is. Honestly, like, and it's weird that it's like I hear that. And I'm like, yeah, but that's stuff I like to do. Like. Oh, I play a game and I break I, I break a game over and over and then I fill out reports about it. Like that's <laughs> fill out that, reports about it. Like, oh, data entry? Yeah, that's stuff that I can zone out and do. Oh, breaking a game over and over? Yeah, that's the thing I just do for fun. <laughs> well, I mean want to, want to talk about it. I yeah. know some people. Yeah, no, let's let's, let's talk. There's one of my favorite the problem things. is that I don't think I've ever met anyone who is like, I'm so happy with my QA job. Yeah, so it makes you it makes you kind of like, oh. Yeah, no, that is like the, that's the thing I'm always worried about is like I hear about it. It's such like a, a stressful or miserable job that I'm like, I was like, what if this is like, you know, do, they say don't do what you like. What's your passion? Because your job will just squeeze your passion out of you. Oh yeah, that's why people are always like, oh, you should run a, you should start a restaurant or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, I don't, I, I enjoy cooking and I would like to continue. Oh, he died. Yeah, I guess that guy just fucking ate it. Yeah, okay. So the amount of, like, murder in this is actually kind of surprising because the original Heroes show was actually really shy about killing people. Oh. Yeah, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't know it from the very serious tone of it. And there was definitely, like, gore and death. But as far as, like, a character that you've, like, seen speaking on screen, it actually was not super common for them to die. Like, it was unrealistically uncommon for people to die. Yeah, no, I, I get you. It was the thing where it's like they they would save deaths for for like very specific things, but like yeah, totally. given the circumstances, it was actually surprising how rare characters die. Right, right. You definitely would have thought that like a whole lot of people would die all the time, uh, but that definitely was not the case. Yeah.
Okay, cool, I killed them. <laughs> My new strategy is just like doing that and then immediately popping back into my my original time. Oh fuck. Oh, well that worked. No, 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 pop back. Fuck. Oh, that's why I couldn't jump back in time. There's a car there. The new game, the medium, tries a similar thing and runs like hot garbage. Yeah, I am actually surprised with the way this game runs considering what it's doing. Like, it runs fairly well for what it is doing. Oh, you said this game came out 2016, right? Yeah. Oh, so it's one year after uh, Until Dawn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about that for the style of and the, the appearance. Oh, yeah, no, the AI is absolutely fucking god awful here. I just mean in terms of, like, the, the weird, like, popping between dimensions thing is a lot better than I would have expected for a game of this time. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, I also think that just in general, for a franchise game, this is surprisingly thought out. Uh, and I think that the other thing about it is that it's surprisingly not related to <laughs> heroes at all, <laughs> in any way. Yeah. Which I think makes it like a much, like, this is a game you could play without, have, without even knowing that there is a Heroes franchise. I mean, I don't know anything about heroes, and I'm getting into what the, what, okay. Oh, there, yeah, there's nothing heroes related here other than the wow, just like hero, hero from the show Heroes. <laughs> like she did at the stupid comic yeah. <laughs> and all the other things. Just the occasional hey, remember that show Heroes? <laughs> Can I like not grab this thing? Why can't I grab his missiles? There's got to be a way to like reflect them back at him, right? Ah, here we go. Ah! Yeah, I okay. wonder. I I'm starting to see what, how I, how how that attack is supposed to work. Here's another thing I would like to say: the very beginning of this game was garbage. Yeah. Like the part where you were just like walking around the tutorial, I guess is what it was, where you were just jumping on stuff and whatever. That was terrible. <laughs> I assume I think that that was probably viewed as like the tutorial level, so to speak, right? Yeah, and it no, that wasn't was supposed given to be the much, tutorial level. Yeah, and it wasn't given much care because it was done so with the concept sort of like that tutorials are potentially like uh, optional, I guess. Uh, but this was not. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was not an optional tutorial. So, so it was just a a very shitty level. I, I will say this game does not pay... Ooh, coffee. <laughs> this game does not play uh, the greatest, I will admit. Also, there's stuff like that where it's like, oh, I gotta interact. What the fuck is happening in this fucking room? <laughs> I gotta get out of there. <laughs> Trapped in the physics of your own. Yeah, just, just shit like that, where I'm just like, I'm in the room and I move and I happen to knock the desk in a way where it's now just ping ponging around me. <laughs> Fuck, Canada's window. I forgot about Geist. I really want to replay that. See, 
the, the, the QA thing is like a big reason why I like to play games a bit sometimes, and sometimes we'll even just completely play, replay or play a game before I stream it, is because I like finding the ways to break it, but I don't want the chat to watch me try to break a thing for like 40 minutes. Because like that is a thing that I have done. Who exactly has been watching me? Like when I did a, that last Silent Hill game, there was like a bug I found and I spent like maybe 30 minutes trying to recreate it because I wanted to show it off on stream. And I couldn't, so I just tried to do it once on stream. It didn't work, so I just pretended that I wasn't doing anything. Oh, wow, there's coffee in this that comes out when I shake it. That's cute. Yeah. I mean, the texture's not great, but I, I appreciate the thought. Yeah. I don't know. I still think this game did a lot. Well, how much did this game cost? That's a good question. Uh, Let me go to the wiki. I feel like I had that open a second ago. Yeah. How much did it cost at least, and how much does it cost like now? Because I can say that right now I bought this game for super cheap because that's why I'm, I'm playing well, it. Well, of course. I mean, that makes sense, but... Uh, I'm excited. I have family. Heroes wiki. And I don't know where to find out how much it costs. Oh my god. Uh, I guess you can just look at Steam. Oh no, what's happening? Oh, I mean when it first came out. Oh. Yeah, that's weird. No, I feel like it's normally listed, like on the Wikipedia even. Oh, no. I'm draining my time with slow mo. Oh, there's no Wikipedia entry for this. Is oh, it's $3 on Steam, and that's without a sale. So it had <laughs> to be dirt cheap when it first came out. It must have been like a $15 game. That's probably well, what it was. <laughs> well. Look at this, like, texture of gray on gray, and I pull it up, and it's supposed to be a photo, because it oh, showed no. it for a second, Alex. but it, like, somehow got the trash can texture on it. Alex. That's so funny. Because I picked it up, and for a split second, I could Alex. see myself in it. Good. Oh, that's great. Oh, we love a game. Are there any people still? Bugs in the... are good, actually. Yeah. Yeah. If you're, um, you can, uh, you can dislike bugs in games uh, if you're a coward. Yeah. If you're wrong. If you're wrong and bad, then bugs in games might bother you. Oh yeah, I forgot that I brought guards from the future, or from the past into the future. <laughs> no, no, I brought them from the future into the past in order to to kill them. I think I once I think Got I him. once did a talk where I uh, I I, I com basically just like compared a bunch of like negative criticism about like small small artsy like small artsy indie games or whatever having bugs to like discussions about like AAA games having bugs where like all of the coverage was like positive actually about the about the triple a bugs oh yeah yeah absolutely like uh, it's like oh like that's adds to the fun and the chaos but like if an indie game has bugs it's like oh it's not finished yeah yeah <laughs> and i was like i don't know bugs are bugs it's fine everyone needs to just chill about them probably sometimes sometimes they happen and it's like i think as long as they're not like for yeah, lack of way to put it, like, like game-breaking or ruining the game. Honestly, yeah, I'm well, not saying, like, it's fine to make a game that just doesn't work correctly, but it's a thing where it's, like, <laughs> people get upset about, like, I don't know, fucking, like, people a Grand Theft like, Auto oh, game. If, if you take the trash can and walk into this particular corner, and then you bang the trash can for, for 30 minutes straight, then the trash can disappears. Wow, they really missed that. Yeah, wow, <laughs> I hope someone got fired for that one. <laughs> People, yeah, people will complain about such the like most obscure edge case things happening as a bug, and they're like, "Wow!" I think part of the problem is like I think the kind of the gaming market is like obsessed with um, like the the value you get out of a video game, and so like 
because of that, you know, video game marketing, which is, you know, also terrible, uh, is like also obsessed with the value perceived by the video game uh, or about the video game of the video game. Are, are you going to lay down and become the skeleton? Yeah, I was like, there's like a virus here and then there's like a skeleton. And I was just like, she's like talking more about this vial. And I'm like, do you not have a concern about the dead bodies? There's two over here. There's two dead bodies spooning over here. <laughs> that's, 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 uh, there are size different skeletons spooning. <laughs> Dude, same. Same as hell. I vibe with these size different skeletons. This was the cuck. <laughs> and this was the bull and hot wife. <laughs> and this is where they died. Okay, what's, a, what's a hot wife? Well, it's when a wife is hot. Oh, that's beautiful. My wife, as they say, right? Wasn't that a movie? Just further weaken the floor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wife guy. <laughs> right, right, right. Which My, oh, look it. Oh, great sex toy. Thank you. That's the movie. That did it, the trick. The floor is <laughs> gonna collapse. Oh, hey. There we go. So, I like the concept that you're just talking out loud to yourself constantly. Yeah. She's like, hmm, I wonder if I could collapse these floors. Oh, I bet if I put a bunch of water on them. Then go forward in time, the floors will collapse. More more dead bodies. Like when they were talking to each other, it made sense. But now he's dead. Like, yeah. Because it was like a message. But now it's just like one person in a chat room by themselves is what it looks like. And then it's just like one person speaking aloud for some reason. Yeah. Oh hey, there's a new body in here. It's working. New body just dropped. It's working. Now I just have to do it again. Wait, what are you even doing? So my my her brilliant plan is that these floors are really weak. She's like, oh, these floors look weak. The, wait, the fuck? These floors look weak. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, let water out, and then uh, a flood is gonna appear. Have you ever seen that artist where they did a thing where it was gas membrane reading poetry in the uh, Columbine uh, cafeteria oh. while the while the fire alarms going off anyway it's it's like a it's like cg animated but it's like <laughs> okay. amateur it's like an amateur artist but it's like really good um anyway it looks like this like this is like it's this quality like that is the quality of the water right now it's yeah this doesn't look great right. <clears throat> what's that I, is that is that a piece of art that I like should have seen? <laughs> is that I mean, I should it's know a about? it's a piece of art that like we've I know we've talked about on stream before, and uh, also that we we've like definitely talked about online. Can we? Oh fuck, he's this guy. If somebody can find the gas Columbine water, yeah, please show it to me. I want to see. I it. can. I'll find it. I'll I'll put it up in the. But you're busy playing the game. I, I That's illegal. I, I have interrupted the chat. How dare I? Gaz, Membrane, Columbine. I haven't made any cute memes this time. I guess there's still time. Maybe? How much more of this game is there? I feel like you're at like the there, end, There right? can't be that much. This has yeah, to be. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely like end game. Okay, I am gonna... <clears throat> oh, Hold on. I see. Yeah, I am gonna like... I see. Uh, window capture, add source... Firefox. I'm gonna put this on screen real quick just to show people that I'm not crazy and that it looks like that. And that the only reason I'm specifically bringing that up is because it was like the immediate one I could think of. No, I'm not gonna use it. No, 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 you're right that the water is exactly that. That's true. Yeah, it's 100%. like the exact same water texture and like everything. I need this in 1080p. <clears throat> yeah, so it's like whatever stock stuff that like this artist had to use. Um, yeah. Yeah, water is hard. That's not even said. That's not even that bad water. But yeah, yeah it's got like it's it only reflects Turtles looks and the occasional. It's like weird goo, weird. I don't know, paste, <laughs> opaque, pale paste. <laughs> Materials. Materials oh, are hard. Okay, on slow time. Someone in the chat's gonna be like, materials? I think you mean shaders. Fuck. 
Oh. I love. I do love this fun timing puzzle of this boss. I wish it was a little less annoying. <laughs> yeah, there are times where classes. you're like, oh, this mechanic is cool, and then you're like, okay, why do I have to do it so many times? All right, I'm, I'm done with this mechanic now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the struggle of game developers being like, oh, man, we worked so hard at this mechanic. Can't we just milk it a little bit more? <laughs> That's, I, I will say, I'm very, I, I try to be patient with that stuff because I know that it's like, all right, like, this probably was really hard to get working. You, you really want to show it off. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's like retweeting your own, like, food pictures. I, By the I, way, does anyone want to see what I cook tonight? <laughs> oh, Tony, you cook tonight? I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, funny you ask. <laughs> you are almost always more powerful than your enemies during slow time. I'm always saying this. I'm always letting people know. I noticed that the game's progression is being given to us by the the power battery in the corner of the screen. So we're at 18. percent So it's got to be near end game. Wait, wait, oh, hold on. Me. Hold on a second. That's not what she said. Wait, what was it? He, she, she, so he, like, he was like, all you have to do is run a little errand for me. And then she said, if my family is down here, as you said, then I'm going to find them. But instead, she just said, uh, I'll what part of on my own I don't am. you get? Like, like the IMs are wrong. Like, it's like from a previous script huh. or something. Yeah, that's probably what it was. It probably got changed. So, sometimes that happens where, like, um, the game's written a certain way or whatever, right? And then the lines are in. And then you usually do the voice at the end. Um, and sometimes, for whatever reason, um, that can change either in the recording process or, you know, maybe right before it or something like that. And then, you know, when you put the sound back in, uh, oftentimes there's not a ton of context for the people who, who uh, are assembling it. Yeah, who is yeah, the people who, who yeah are handling the parts of the game that that chat takes place in, for example. Uh, and so they might not know to look to that like one thing or two things were changed. Also, like voice actors will just be like. Wouldn't it be more normal if they said blank? Like a good voice actor will. will yeah. well, not that there's bad voice actors. I've never worked with any bad ones. Um, generally, I find voice actors will be like, "Oh, this line is weird." If it's weird, and you might change a line because of that. Um, but it is it is kind of a no no just because of that kind of thing can happen where, like, that has a bit of a ripple effect. Yeah, where it's like, well, this has to be corrected here, and that has to be corrected there now. Uh, yeah, and if exactly. it doesn't, it creates weird dissonances like that. <clears throat> and, it, and it's hard to tell. Like that, one of the biggest problems is that like it's so hard to tell that something's not the way it's supposed to be. Um, like because that's not the same as something being wrong. Yeah. Like you can look at that text and go, "That's fine," and you can hear the voice and go, "That's fine," but you have to hear the voice and see the text at the same time, and then be like, "Oh, these two things don't match up." Yeah. And it's very unlikely for a game studio to be like, "All right, we're gonna have somebody go through all of the text and the chat to make sure it lines up," because probably in the way they were making it, it wouldn't make sense for that to happen. Yeah, but you know, thing unexpected things do happen. So that's how be. I I love learning about just like game dev stuff for me. So I was just like, oh okay, nice. G yeah, games like this are uh, actually like end up being perfect for it because there's so much weird things. It's like, oh, how does this happen? And then you're I like, oh, I can tell you. I feel like I don't think of myself as a game dev, uh, regardless of how many games I've shipped. <laughs> but. I think just because, like, I, I, I've always been kind of more admin. Um, I don't really, I don't code and I don't make art or anything like that or write. Um, I'm, oh, I'm aware. I don't, I don't know how to write. Um, so I oftentimes am like, I don't think of myself as admin just because, of, or I don't think of myself as a game dev. And so then I talk about this stuff and I was like, I'm always like, oh, I guess I know a little bit about this stuff. <laughs> I mean, definitely the business end of stuff I, 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 I'm familiar with, like the process. Don't ask me to boolean a JSON, because I'm just going to get confused. All sorts of wacky words during engineer meetings. Oh, I was going to say, what's a boolean in JSON? 
No, I'm no, no. Jason. I don't know. I, I think I made a joke on Twitter. I was like, if Jason is being bullied, then we should, his parents should call. <laughs> we should call the school. <laughs> It was a real thought I had while I was in an actual engineer meeting. That's rather rude, considering I'm the only person who This guy really wants to tell me where my family is. What would you know about that? Your parents were my employees. Okay. True believers in my cause. That's cool. What a load of bullshit. I don't expect you to understand my actions. I have the information you need. And you have the ability I need to recover the Gemini formula. <laughs> oh, is that what we're looking for? Is that why the game's called Gemini? That's the spirit. Look, more dead bodies. This Gemini Cinnamon John John. I like the uwu engineers. That's good. Like none other. When Evo DNA is placed in the Gemini Matrix. Every time they say Evo, I think they're saying evil. Like, oh, the evil DNA. I keep thinking they're talking about the game, uh, the game event. I, I I thought for a second they were talking about Evo Morales, the Brazilian socialist. <laughs> Evo Long. The Evo DNA, which is giving everybody socialism <laughs> DNA. God, there's so many doors in this area. Where, I just went in a circle, didn't I? On the bottom level, our store of working Gemini was kept there. Yeah, let me give you a waypoint. Oh, finally a waypoint. Thank you. Oh, yeah. oh yes, sir. Waypoint, please. More than anything. Oh hey, this is a hospital. Oh fuck. Uh. Bye. Oh wait, you didn't. Fuck. There you go. Bye. Now, now you are dead in. The future. Uh, where am I looking for? Okay. for. No! Get out of here! Get out of here! Okay, who got the dominant Evo genes? Evo Morales or Justin Wong? <laughs> They're non binary, so they have the strongest DNA. Sonic Fox? Sonic Fox is neat. Oh! Oh, wait, that Evo, Evo is a fighting game thing, too. Yeah, it's a fighting game tournament event. I was like, what does Sonic Fox have to do with Evo Morales? <laughs> I was like very confused for a second. <clears throat> yeah. I was like, are they are they from are they Brazilian? <laughs> did, did they support imagine, Evo Morales? Imagine if Sonic Fox was uh uh socialist. It was a socialist Brazilian <laughs> politician. Shut it, Mason. Oh my god, do I have to listen to this whole conversation again? Have you heard someone say shove it in real life before? Uh, yeah, I say it all the time. Really? Stuff, no. Uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh man, I said a swear on stream. Oh, that's fine. This is a PG-13 stream. <laughs> no, the 14-year-olds. I'm sorry, 14-year-olds cannot consent to swears. Actually, I can't. I get put in the corner when I do it. Why? It sucks. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Eva Morales is Bolivian. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot that. Oh, was... that's why people were saying Bolivia. Oh. One of those B countries, right? Right, kids. So I bring you this Gemini formula, and I'm free to go. That's right. Oh, right. This is why, yeah, I, yeah, the, the this is why I honestly, like, that's why I don't really talk about foreign politics. I have, I have Californian brain. No, but you're an American. You're allowed to talk about foreign politics as though you knew about them without knowing anything about them. Yeah, but I don't like being this. I don't like being that kind of person. Well, I, I like to try to at least learn. I like to what? try to learn a little bit about it, foreign oh, politics. Oh, no, no. But it's very hard. Well, okay, the main reason why it's hard is because if you look at, like, any country's history, like, literally, like, 
uh, uh, Amer like from the start of America's history, you basically have to learn another American history because we inevitably get involved with and fuck over that country. Yeah, that's uh, actually true. Yes, like that's that's one of the things that makes foreign like <clears throat> like learning about foreign policy stuff like so like. I not difficult, but it's like every every country has its own history of America specifically fucking it over. Where am I going? Where does this game want me to go? What's the... Like, even just when I was learning, because like I, I was learning a lot about Iranian history, I was still like, the more I learned about it, the more I was like... The more I learn about it, the more I was like, there's so much to learn about this. There's like so much shit we did in Iran, or that like is our fault. Oops. Wait. You know what they say? Oops. Oops. All right, let's not get too political in here. Not in a not in a no politics way. Just in a, I'm playing a, I'm trying to get through a door of a desk, which isn't the most ideal circumstance to talk about politics. I guess what? Oh no, no, go back here. Bye. That food was so good. Man, I'm thinking about how good my food was. Tony hey, Eugenics nice. and Apolitical J. <laughs> That's true. I I actually do occasionally argue that like, uh, not that I'm apolitical in the sense of like, oh, I don't have politics, but in the sense that it's like, listen, I'm dumb as a rock. <laughs> I do do not do not look to me for political insight. I, I have my rules of thumb and my heuristics for navigating politics, but like I have my massive blind spots. And so like I and, and when I say that it's more so that like I don't like the like this is like, like the Twitter brand stuff we're talking about, but this compulsion to be like you have to be smart about politics. Uh, there she is. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Shut yeah. Up. Politics is a complex subject that's very difficult, very uh, difficult to traverse. Exactly. Without a very broad understanding of many things, since politics very much involves, by its nature and definition, involves a lot of people, which means it involves a lot of things. Yeah. No. Exactly. And I, and I feel like one of the things I don't like about social media isn't that like it's too political, but that like it encourages people to approach politics as if it's like fandom stuff a negotiation. and not like something that like you have to like really invest a lot of information like a lot of effort into to learn about when evo dna is placed in the gemini matrix it can grant an ordinary human extraordinary more bimbo politics thank you coffee stomach hey as a bimbo thank you yeah fine thank you for seeing me thank you for for seeing and accepting me that's right. Um, yeah, uh, Ken has been. You're completely right. People treat politics like it's a football team, but I mean, I don't yeah. know. I feel like we're all, we could just gripe about that all night, probably, if we wanted to. Our store of working Gemini was kept there. Here, let me give you a waypoint. I'll hold you to your word. I have my I have my stockpile of desks now to yeah, take on uh, these guys. Uh, Nico, Nico, wait, Nico, Nico, Nate. Uh, yeah, they're talking about a lot of stuff after, um, a lot of time of not talking about stuff, and now it's like, oh, is this game supposed to suddenly have a plot now? It, it really like, did just have, like, a plot it? kind of pop out of nowhere. Oh, fuck, yeah. did you? Like, there was a point where two dudes, and I was like, oh, who are these people? <laughs> 
Although I guess this is not unlike how most AAA games work. I mean, I think that was, that was basically what um, like Last of Us was like, and uh, what's the word? Uh, Uncharted also very similar. Uh, this game's made by the same people. Um, <clears throat> no, wait. No, no, yes, no, yes, right. they are. They are both Naughty Dog. Oh, they games. are. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, they have that formula where it's like, like kind of a little segment with like a lot of plot and story and then for the next like out you know hour you're just like shooting dudes <laughs> Do, doing a dude shooting and i think this kind of has the same formula and then that that number that like hour of shooting dudes bet between you know people discussing a plot gets like longer and longer as, it, as the game goes and then like the last last part of the game is often that's like you're just shooting dudes forever and then suddenly story happens and you're like right that got him on the back screen Ooh, got him god i am beating these guys down off the desk stop stay down okay cool Aha! This is where the game's been wanting me to go. Crash Bandicoot is also- Yeah, I always forget that Crash Bandicoot is also Naughty Dog. Crash Bandicoot was the original male protagonist. Yeah. Was the original Ludo narrative dissonance. <laughs> Why would you say those words? It's funny. To me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I just had flashbacks. Gross. Oh no! Bodies. That looks like a thing that needs charger. The Ian e. Bogos article, Games Would Be Better Without Ludo Narrative Dissonance. Do you agree with that? <laughs> no, let's, no, I just, let's, I just let's revive really let's revive the Ludo narrative dissonance argument again. Uh I just I just uh I just realized I'd made a joke that like three people in the world would get, so never mind. But yes, that's true. Uh I don't think anyone ever said that though. Ludo narrative dissonance. Whoa, whoa, oh, okay. The box is moving. Why does Crash like Bandicoot care about the boxes? They got treasure in them. Dude loves treasure. treasure I like doors. these completely unregulated murder elevators that just don't have doors. Yeah, no, there, there was also the one earlier where she like sabotaged the elevator to make it like plummet a thousand feet and was just like, woo, I got out of that one. Yeah, wait, what? What, what do people think elevators are like? I no. guess that. <laughs> oh, well, that was easy. Is that not enough? Do I need to put this guy's body on top of it? Oh, I see. No, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why when time slows down she can jump higher, but I will accept it as a as a thing. Oh, oh! Sometimes time, you know. Sometimes time goes by so slowly. You know who said that? Madonna. Wow, that's beautiful. Did she? Yeah. Uh, huh? So some time goes by so slowly. That one. I don't know what to do. Oh, there's words in that song? Oh, hey, it's this freak. Yeah. I want up. Hey, kid. So, this kid apparently hey. is the protagonist hey. of the mobile game that's the also a tie in to the series reboot that also features characters that aren't in the actual series reboot. 
Yeah. What the fuck? And so this character has like a mobile game that's their whole adventure, but it's completely different. And you meet Cassandra in that as well, but it's not the same story. What the f fuck? Or like the puzzles are wrong or something. Like there was like a thing I was reading about it where it's like, yeah, there's like some like continuity areas between them. Wow. Well, they must have really thought that the heroes thing was going to be a thing. They really thought, I think they really were kind of, where do, what was the heroes they, reboot even airing on? And did it even have the same actors? I guess it wouldn't because it's a reboot. No, well, yes, but I'm Cassandra. I mean, it, the original, I mean, I guess maybe it would make sense if you wanted to redo the second season, but the first season was really good. Wait, I just realized that what they just said is that this girl is Cassandra's, like, older sister, but in the past, so she's now younger than Cassandra. Oh. I have to go. Okay. But I'm not leaving you in here. Dahlia. Huh, I don't know. Lost family's named Dahlia. I don't trust him. Oh jeez. I've got the blazers. Never this many. We can get through this. Together. Figure out how to shut the lasers down, Cass. What is going on down there? Are you guys trying to shut up the lasers? Your test is to your test is to escape the lasers. Sometimes lasers. Okay, how do you want me to? Oh fuck! Okay, I brought that one on myself. Um. Wait, is this because in the previous room I had those pressure plates on it? Oh fuck. Oh god. Help. Where? What did I get stuck in? Well, what are the things you can do? What are the... Uh, she wants me to shut the lasers down. <clears throat> and that's my sister. That's it. This is like a portal test chamber. It really does look just like a portal test chamber. It really does. Oh, okay, so if I put... There's gotta be something I can see. I can't travel through time. So whatever I'm doing has gotta be in here. Lie about the cake. This. Oh. Navigating this like narrow ass area. Okay, none of those work. Hang on. These wires look like they might power those lasers. If I can just connect them. Wait. Oh! I just had to pull the pipe out. The lasers aren't responding. What is going on down there? Wait, what?
Got him. I can't make the jump. Uh, there's a platform. Can you move it? I think so. Sure. Moved. Dahlia, you need to start taking these tests more Soft seriously. Soft locking the moving. Dahlia, do the do the jumping platform. <laughs> the jumping puzzles. You should be able to get out now. Find your sister, I mean me, and get to the surface. I want to help you. The Gemini That's totally Robin at condemns. <laughs> no. I found my family. We don't need Mason anymore. You should still get that formula. It's too dangerous. We gotta we get the to formula. Kill Masons anymore. I don't know if this is a good idea. But you're right. Cool. Let's do it. All right. I'll find the formula. Get Cassie and you, and get out of here. I'll take care of Mason. Oh my God. Sounds like a plan, but I'll need you to keep the guards busy for a few minutes. All right. What is this camera angle? She's moving like she's like impatient at like the the CVS line. I like who you grow up to be. Now that I found you, Dahlia. I like who you grow up to be. You've exchanged like ten words. Oh, oh, blacking out. Chat, what do you think? Should I have a, should I reward myself for doing four hours of this game so far with a little, little schmoky and dwinky break? Yes, 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 okay. Once this is done loading, I'll jump to the uh, WRB oh. screen. I just realized I was muted. Oh, I was like, I was like, Tony doesn't have a lot to say. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go uh, refill my drink and have a little smoke, and then I'll be right back. So I'm gonna throw up yeah. my TV screen. Um, Are you gonna, gonna do an ad? You know what? I should do an ad. I haven't. Yeah, I haven't let's learn about the army and I don't know Raytheon. Um, I gotta go to Twitch uh, proper to do that. <laughs> what? I have to I have to load up my uh, my dashboard because I don't I, can I do it from here? Fuck unions says Canon has bought it. Yeah, you're 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 prepared for those commercials. Jeff Bezos says <laughs> fuck unions. Yeah. Uh, hopefully people get to see a couple new a couple new sheeps. So that's that's gone. All right, I'm gonna run a break and then I'll be right back. Okay. Hello, hello everybody. How are y'all? How how y'all doing? How's life? I must up so I don't get ads. Oh, I see. So you have to say fuck unions to make up for the fact that you're not getting ads. Yeah, yeah, that's true. All the ads are just gonna be fuck unions or I don't know, murder people for money. Hello. Hi, Cinnamon John John. Hello. Jay Jay getting out of the apartment, just having a time. I already forgot what the name of this movie was. Hey, viewers in the chat, do you remember what the name of this movie was? It was like, Pulse? Was that it? I think that might have been it. Oh, new one. Does anyone, can anyone notice, recognize this one? What movie is this? Got some, some chains. Silent Hill 4, The Room. Oh, I see. It's not helpful. for. I'm just going to say it looks a little weird to be live action. <laughs> it's really good. The way Jay edited it uh, like around the chair is like really powerful. It's so good. With Minmo. Wait, where's Minmo? Oh, is Minmo in the Oh, is Minmo in that little picture over there? Am I right? How's that? I don't know. I see. Is Minmo in Silent Hill? Please tell me about Minmo. I, I actually don't actually even know what Minmo is. So it's a, it is a cat for cat food. Minmo is a cat for cat food in Silent Hill 3. I see. I see. Oh, I was handed food by a bear. Looks yummy. Does look yummy. Oh, 
Hello. Oh, no, not yet. Canada has banned though. Thinking about- Oh, that's right! Now I remember growing strong and healthy. I forgot about this. <laughs> Thinking about Mimbo. Good. I'm gonna retweet this so that Lonnie has to deal with more people retweeting it. <laughs> gosh. Bear. Hi, Zell! Oh my gosh! Hello! Hello! You were just saying nice things to me in private. Now you're here in public. Oh! Ah. Okay. Bear threw something in my direction and it startled me. It wasn't at me. And it was just a mask. Oh yeah, that yeah, it's funny. You said you said uh yeah, I that's funny. I that's good that you didn't realize that was Lonnie, but yes, that's Lonnie. That's Lonnie, well known review re reviewer no, well known uh streamer, Lonnie. Uh let's see. What's their... is their... What's Lonnie's... Uh... All of our representatives are still assisting other customers. What's Lonnie's account on Twitch? Do you remember? I always forget the name because it's not Lonnie. I'm really bad. It's like, all my stuff is just Tony Tony Roca. So, like, I'm really bad at remembering when anyone's stuff is, like, not their, like, literal name. Oh, it's very friendly. That's right. Thank you. Yeah, so that's Lonnie's very friendly, and, Lon and Lonnie is very friendly. It's true, um, and you can you can thank you everyone. Th yes, thank you everyone. Uh, yeah, you can you can uh, follow them here. They're there, and they're funny. Actually, I was on one of Lonnie's streams recently. I don't even know how I get into these streams. I kind of just I think I just wander around and get sucked into them somehow. Um, you know, I stream too. You can follow me. But I mostly just stream Jackbox. I occasionally stream for realsies. Um, I play old JRPGs. But only certain people want to see that usually, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Most people haven't seen the soccer games, so I like streaming those because they're fun. And at Lear Games. Oh yeah. I am really lost. I'm really lost all the time. That's just kind of how I live my life, and that's okay. Uh, <laughs> I think... The edible hit a while ago, so you know, you know how it is. I heard ice cream. What? What did you hear? Is ice cream? Oh, I stream, but I heard ice cream. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I, I, ha I do have ice cream bears, but uh, yeah, I know I tend to stream. I stream myself uh, on my account with the uh, uh, bears often, where I will. Uh, what's the word? I, basically, I'll just play games or Jackbox or whatever, and then I just have like bears join me. And when I say bears, they're like cartoon bears. So you have a little little icons at the bottom of the screen. It's cute. It's just me and a bunch of dudes playing games, goofing around being silly uh zell you should join our stream you're occasionally a bear kind of maybe so i don't know you're funny you're funny you're funny <laughs> we're getting intense now <laughs> what I, good question what is this movie i i feel like um <laughs> coffee stomach says cool it looks cool as shit <laughs> no, this is ice cream music. <laughs> the best part about this is I can't hear the music at all because my sound isn't working right and I can only hear it just for the moment. Uh, I'm in hell. I will join in bear mode. Oh yeah, Zell, we could do that. Although, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Looks like Garth Marenghi. Is this Metal Gear music? I, yeah, I have no idea what the music is. I wish there was some kind of thing telling us, because I feel like I keep getting this question and I can't even hear the music, so... I'm not getting the full experience here, I really should.
Oh, I can hear the music now. Oh, and myself. Do I sound like that? Oh, that's terrible. Actually, I dig this music. It's got kind of a vibe. <laughs> yeah, it does sound like Ratatat. It sounds like Ratatat chilled out a bit. I was into Ratatat before it was Normie music, so... I just don't think of it that way, even though it's completely true. It's just easy to enjoy. <laughs> It was good until it involved eradicate versus untitled shut up. <laughs> uh, if, if I'm not mistaken, I heard once, and you know, you might want to look it up. Oh my gosh, it's so confusing to, to hear yourself speak that much. Um. Yeah, so I'm not, I, I might be mistaken, but uh, you can look it up, but I believe that Ratatat's albums LP3 and LP4 were actually written, like, on the same, like, two-day span, and then they just, like, chopped up the track listing and didn't release LP4 until, like, four years later or something like that. Um, it could be completely fake, but I think that might still be true, uh, and that is just a wild concept that they were just, like... They just made two two albums on a on a uh, on a weekend, and they were like, "All right, well, <laughs> time to have money for eight years." <laughs> I'm back. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, this is uh, this image is also from uh, uh, all the colors of the dark. Oh, okay. Pulse was the, was the one before this. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I basically just had a day where I sat down and made a bunch of these, uh, and I'm probably going to keep making more. <laughs> they're, they're really fun to just think of scenes from movies or games that I like and putting my character and putting this little Shiva in them. Ooh, these look dangerous. No target. Which means... <laughs> I can do that. Everyone's yelling, where are they? Oh, there he is. Wait, what? Wait, what? You're in the electric thing. You should be dying. There you go. <laughs> There's that guy ex electrocuting. Oh fuck. You're shooting me. Into the electric box. Hey Jay, are you ever gonna post your like playlist from the uh the weight music? The BRB screen? I could. I could post a bunch of them. So were people I, asking I what some getting... of the stuff was? Yeah, people were asking non stop. Oh fuck. Okay, I should figure out a way then to, to have it display. Because right now it's just, it's just like it's just, live, live, uh, you know, Spotify or whatever. It's 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 actually just uh, it's it's just from a folder of music that I've been making. But I'll I'll look into seeing if there's a way to have it display what is playing. Because it's just like random. But there's there's gotta be a script or something to have it play. Hmm. There has to be, yeah. Because people do that, so. Yeah. Although it might be widgets based on what your music player is, but yeah. Yeah. Well, that one's just a uh, VLC source is what I use, because then if you do that, it'll just play- Whoa! Oh. Into the electric trap. Oh, 
Ow. What? <laughs> Fuck! How are you seeing the exits and stuff? I don't know. Oh, did your Google Glasses have like a danger identifier or something? Apparently, it's like, oh, it analyzes these things. It'll tell you this stuff. But they didn't really quite explain it or how it works. They were just like, yeah, it's really good at analyzing things. Uh, chat, does anyone know a way to have it so that if I have a random VLC source, it'll it'll at least display what is playing? Once again, I was muted. Oh. <laughs> so, okay, okay, okay. In my defense, I have a really old Blue Yeti mic that's, like, breaking. And yeah. I press the bu button to mute it and unmute it, because that's really easy for me to do. Um, but unfortunately, it's, like, old. And now, half the times, I press it to unmute, and it doesn't unmute. Yeah. And so I just wind up speaking into nothing for, like, a while without re before I realize what happened. I guess I'm old. This guy's really annoying. Oh fuck! Like when he does that. Yeah, I don't know that I want to get another uh, Blue Yeti mic in the future just because like, this yeah. thing has kind of fallen apart in a shitty way in my opinion. Yeah, no, that, it sounds like it's it's been giving you trouble lately. Yeah. But then I asked one of the bears. So, like, all the bears are, like, nerds in their own way. Yeah. Um, I have, like, a, you know, I have, like, an anime harem, like, worth of bears where they all just, like, have their zany, zany quirks and specialties. Uh, so I asked one of the bears, one of the bears that's, like, you know, good with music like a sound, sound equipment stuff. And I was like, oh, what kind of, what kind of mic setup, oh God, what kind of mic setup would I uh, need for, you know, whatever? And then he was like, well, here's this $500 setup. And I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'll figure it out. I'll figure out what I want. But, I want something that picks up less than at least two. Yeah, oh fuck. Grab, grab, grab him. Thank you. Alright, into the fight into the fan trap uh, with you. Ah oh, fuck! I'm just gonna explain in chat. Like, how do I say this out loud? I don't know. I remember that 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 voice voice acting tutorial controversy. That was very funny. Oh fuck. Whoa. I forget that there are human beings that don't know about who I date. Bears or nerds? Bears. Oh, okay. Someone in chat chat asked what bears mean in this context, and I was like, "You're right. A normal person wouldn't know what I mean." <laughs> oh, I, I, I. This is my 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 gay history showing where when I hear like I just assume people are familiar with the concept of bears. Well, it's not like I'm using it to mean like a gay bear, though. Yeah, but it's like, I mean, it's like the same sort of like air quotes concept, right? Kind of, oh, I hey. guess. There's that guy in the past. Here's a, here's a vanilla folder for you. Here, give that to her. No file. Sorry, it's empty. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, we you're a, sorry, you don't have parents. We have a big piece of paper that says no file. How's that? Bring your formula. You don't have it? How is that possible? On the day of the fire, it was gone from a locked room. Only someone with your abilities could have you mean like my sister? Dahlia? Why would you give up her name? Two of you conspired against me across time. 
time itself. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Why would you think he doesn't have superpowers? The, the guy behind him just like kind of uncomfortably like moving like uh, I don't like this. Oh. Bro, oh, he just has superpowers. Yeah. Oh. What? Huh, I wonder what could have destroyed this. Oh wait, so we are calling it. So we are causing a time paradox. Hey, welcome. I brought you back in time. Oh, ah, ah, fight! Oh, I see. Ow! Can I not grab fire? Why do you keep saying that? Oh, that's a very specific thing to say. Yeah, nothing in this room can help you. No items can be utilized using your abilities to defeat me. Wink! Wink. Can I, can I grab it? No? Can I use this guy oh, to hurt you? Yeah, I was about to say, so you probably this. need to pick up things from the past, huh? Smart. Or the future, rather. Come on. This guy's probably not one of them. Wait, no, come on, grab you. Oh! I can throw him. Ah! <laughs> Large glowy. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> or is this the title says? Ha ha ha, nothing in this room can be thrown at my large glowing weak point. I was, uh, I was watching the, like, I don't remember what it was. I think it was, like, the Lindsay Ellis video about the trans thing, yeah. whatever. And we are talking about, like, the obsession with, like, uh, women being, and she, she made a joke about women only being unsafe in bathrooms for some reason. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like that, like that, you make you uniquely powerful to murder women. <laughs> like it's easier somehow to do it, do it in there. And I, I said to my boyfriend while we were watching the video, I said, "Oh yeah, we reveal our glowing weak points when we're in the bathroom." <laughs> that's why. That's why you're. That's why women are at their most uh, unsafe there. The glowing that's weak true. Point. Yeah, yeah. As that's what the. Uh, the that's what the little. Just, like, that's open the little. Up our jack feet. That's huh? what the little extra trash cans are for. Is for revealing yeah, yeah, exactly. for disposing yeah, yeah, yeah. of your weak spot. <laughs> what the? Okay. Just a big red box or something. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Canada's man says women go to the bathroom to vent their reactor cores. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that really is such a video game staple. Thank you, Star Wars. Oh, there he goes. Wait, come back. Ah, I have to go into this next room so I can fight you some more. Where you start. Ah. You're you're in the past now. Stop that, you. You're also in the past now. Bye. <laughs> or I guess you're in the future now. Sorry, you just lost six years. Ah. <laughs> Way to break these things. Oh fuck. Oh, oh, okay. Break my ear. Oh god, 
vessels. It took me a second to remember the trope that you're refer referencing with the puke. Yeah, I always noticed the puke thing before, and just seeing the montage, like, that wasn't a montage, just see, seeing all the examples pointed out was just, like, wild. Oh, oh yeah, there's, a, there's like, a really good classic, uh, I think it's Morgan Page art piece she did about that, called, like, That's Disgusting or something, and it's, like, her... Her like puking in reaction to those videos. It's like a it was like a stage performance she used to do. Whoa, that's wild. Morgan Page is great, by the way. If anyone ever wants to learn like trans history, like she has a podcast and she like she talks about it pretty regularly. Especially in relation to uh, cruising culture. Oh, I see. When he does that attack, I, I need to jump. Oh, are you talking about Morgan M. Page? Yes, not Morgan Page the DJ. <laughs> yes. I was oh. like, wait. I, I was like, I follow this person, I think. Yeah, I do. I do follow that person. Should I link them in the chat? Yeah, no, I, I, she's, a, she's a public figure. Oh, there he goes. Time to go to the next... Time to go to the stage three. Oh, dude, you're leaving hot footprints everywhere. You got the old spicy foot. Stand still, <laughs> no. Spicy foot. I will not do yeah, that. Yeah, he does have spicy foot. What are you doing? Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, okay. I, I'm raging bull. I'm bull. I'm bull in a china shop in you. Hey, come get me. I'm right here. Oh, come on, this way. Stand still, damn it! Okay. Ow. Stop. Ah! God, trying to aim this dude is so hard. Come on. It's a good thing that once he starts his animation, he can't stop. He can't stop turning <laughs> up. You know, you know that feeling when you you start your animation and you just can't stop. You you're just like, can't Whoa, stop your charge. I have to finish this whole arm motion or else. Okay, it just well. doesn't feel right if I don't finish the whole like dash. Yeah. Can I throw him at these? Oh no, he does. He does that if I try to do that. Okay. Come on, I'm right here. I won't let you use my power against me. Okay. <laughs> Kenan has been what? Like, you know that when you upgrade your default? Oh. He was like, I won't let you use my power against me. Okay. The second <laughs> I step away from it, he does his attack on the pipe. <laughs> Cannon has Bender says, you know that feeling when you upgrade your default attack to a three-shot burst so it's harder to converse conserve ammo? You can't keep dodging me forever. I'm always saying this. But bro, I wasn't even standing in front of that one. You just ran into it. I mean, I guess he's just gonna win the fight for you. Hey, over here. Come on. You can't keep dodging me forever. I don't know. I'm doing a pretty good job of it so far. Oh, come on, come on, dude. Right here. Right here. Right here. Come on, buddy. Come on. Uh, vessels. People can just like stuff. That's fine. <laughs> I like stuff. I watch things. But. Oh, she did the fucking mic. She's the fucking Roblox dude. Oh, like, I yeah. I, 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 I watch me. things. Alright. I'm <laughs> just hanging out. That, again! Oh. I, like, move oh. away from the pipe and he attacks it. 
Okay. I don't know, you seem really eager to attack these pipes. I won't allow you to destroy my work, so I'll do it. To destroy my work. Come on. Well, he's just doing that. I won't allow you. <laughs> do you just want him to do it? Oh, I guess he does do it. I won't it's allow so you. Oh my god! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, it was you all along. You're the one who destroyed the quarry. How did you not get that new bids donation sound? Oh, I should make that one. Oh fuck. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Whoa. Oh. So are you Wee. controlling them? Yeah, I, I, I'm moving through this part. That's kind of cool. But I'm using time to... How, how much time... How much can you use the time thing? Do you run out of time juice? Yeah, so the uh, on the, the yellow bar on my around my health is my time juice. And the blue bar is my telekinesis juice. Do you just have infinite time juice right now? I think so. I think that was like a, a cin late cinematic motion. I see. Did you say late cinematic? What? Yeah, late cinematic. It's French, it's so French it sounds for, fancier. It's, it's, fr French, it's French, French Redditor. Cinematic. Yeah, <laughs> it's French for the cinematic. Thank you. Thank you for translating for the folks at home. I just don't want people to be confused. Oh, she looks great. Where? Mouth ain't moving. When? Real, real, this is like beyond Oof. good and evil vibes right here. Oof. Oof. Okay, this is. Oh, I feel so weird because of the inconsistency and in the quality of this game. Right? So I feel like most of that was totally fine in a normal video game. Now this is a little awkward and weird. It, Just it has no these, mouth moving is so much. It has these weird moments where it feels it like a game My that sister. you would see characters playing in a TV show, I like a fake game. And I won't stop yeah, until yes, I definitely, 100%. Oh, because I missed the whole middle, Elliot can someone summarize the, the plot to this game She's in one sentence? Um, I found my sister her sister lived in the science facility where they were creating and or picking up people with superpowers so she could uh, travel through time. And her sister is the character in this. Oh, I guess that's the end of the game. Phosphor Games, huh? What have, what have you guys done? Oh, yeah, I looked them up a little bit ago. What have they done, though? Oh, we have a, we have a, we have a website. Uh, Corpse of oh, yeah. Discovery, Horn, and Nether are, are ones that come up on, uh, on Google. I've never heard of either of those. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, it's Discovery Horn and another. Corpse of Discovery. 6 out of 10 in Steam. 49% Metacritic. Ooh. Horn is an a a Apple uh, I, a I, I, game. I'm. Oh, fuck, wait, no, I need to go back to that. Um. I need to get a screenshot of this, and I will post Nether is it. also a 6 out of 10. And Gemini Heroes of Wine is a 7 out of 10, so a, lo a little better than the other things. Has anyone heard of the Brookhaven experiment? No. Okay, because uh, your reality will change uh, when you immerse yourself in Phosphorus' imagination of projects like the Brooks 4 experiment. Um, which looks like this chat, if you look at it. Um, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on screen as well. Um, my, the, the detail about this that I'm particularly enjoying here, uh, is the fact that... How do I just stick this on the screen? Do I have to save it? Uh, the gun is just floating. <laughs> like it's saying this and then the gun on screen is is just floating yeah it's it's immersive because guns are floating nothing says immersion like not having hands 
Yeah, not having not having visible hands and also uh, I don't think I don't think I'm working on anything that doesn't have visible hands in VR. I think all of our stuff currently has visible hands. Um, you guys got the new visible hands in? Nice. <laughs> People, no, are really say, into, it, people are really into those visible hands. They are! Because people uh, want to see their hands when they're doing stuff. It, it really is 100% true. That is not. That is 100% true. I, I much prefer the games to have hands in them. I just think... I mean, they're... Rayman nice, with a gun! Nice to have hands. This game does not have <laughs> a Wikipedia page. It doesn't. I, like, I, I think it's great that they're holding a... Um, gun with their right hand and a Hitachi with their left hand. Oh my god, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> what are they what is that? Oh. Oh my god. So I think if so if it's supposed to be the flashlight, I am imagining holding a gun and a flashlight in these positions and it's like you have to have like your arms up and parallel and like back. Like you're well, doing like that was, that was for this photo. Yeah, right? for this so, photo. Like, they definitely just did that. <laughs> they also did the Crisis on the Planet of the Apes VR game. What Crisis of, on the Planet of the Apes says about the future of VR. That was in 2018. <laughs> the Hitachi is, is a reference to the Nether. Yeah, probably. Maybe. Could be. You don't know. What else we got? Projects. This looks like a game studio that was founded to make images for, um, like a like a lifestyle, <laughs> like 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 a like a techie lifestyle magazine. Well, this is like a normal game studio. This is a game studio that just does things for money. Uh, they did VRC Jurassic World and VRSC Batman, uh, the Brookhaven Experiment Mobile. Ford Future of Mobility VR application. Uh, the 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 screen for their uh, Enigma game does kind of look like it says Enema. Enema. <laughs> <laughs> it it does unfortunately. look like that yeah it does unfortunately look like that let me let me put that in the chat as well yeah great game yeah that uh, was, you know what for a for a franchise game like that that's oh no it really looks like enema it really <laughs> oh, no. i straight up saw that and i thought <laughs> does that say enema and I had to like look at it, and then I had what? to hover over it so the title came up. So it said Enigma, and I was like, "Oh, it's the other game. It's not yeah, a game that's it... just called an Enema." Enema. <laughs> I thought it was Enema once I looked at it twice, but the first time I glanced, I was like, "Ooh." It's just it's just like on the worst background possible for that G. That G is 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 doing is not doing well. <laughs> enema, enemy inside. <laughs> oh my god. I'm fascinated. I desperately want to play more games from the studio now. I'm fascinated by this shit. They did the Man of Steel mobile game. They did a, ga a mobile game called Dark Meadow. They do a lot of mobile games. That's what sells. No, oh, that makes sense. Like these are all these are all like people are paying the studio to make these things. That's how it works. Fuck, maybe I'll get into mobile uh, emulation and just play a bunch of mobile games. Uh, there's probably a lot of cool. You know, honestly, there's probably a lot of good mobile games that like literally no one on earth has ever played. Right? Yeah. No, I think about that a lot because it's like 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 the that Dexter game I played was like it was bad, but it was like a full ass game. Like we make franchise stuff, but it's usually pretty good. Um, like there's probably a lot of studios like that where just to make it, it's pretty good, but it's attached to some franchise, so literally no one on earth will ever want to play it. So. <laughs> It's a weird thing, but <laughs> it it's they made a game called Corpse of Discovery. 
which I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's a PC game. So maybe I'll just maybe let me see how much this is. Corpse. Uh, Corpse of Discovery. Oh shit, Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter is $2 on Steam right now. Peggy 16. Peggy 16. Now what done? What, what kind of game is this? Is it just one of those point and click adventure games? What game is this? Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. It is two dollars on steam right now chat am i should i oh corpse of discovery is also two dollars <clears throat> that's not the that's not the one that's not the, the 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 company that makes a bunch of the same sherlock holmes game over and over is it that's what i'm trying to figure out because if so i might if not i might buy this uh it's from frogwares the who has done a lot of Sherlock Sh Holmes who's games. Who's done a lot of uh -oh. Sherlock Holmes games? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is probably that one creator that this is one that that one studio that just like makes a game about Sherlock Holmes in a train like every yeah. twenty days. I could be wrong, but I think that my Frogwares. Although, yeah, I know it was Frogwares. People got that it in a second. It, yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. I mean, that being said, I like the games. I, I played two of them. I think, or I don't know. One of my friends played one. It was fine. Frogwares is fighting with their old publisher? Ooh, dish the deets. I want the drama. Yeah, Ooh. I want to hear about this. Yeah. I will say, game studios are good. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to stop myself right there. <laughs> because I have a career. Anyways, um, this I can tell fun, you with the current leg. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is great. I, I was, yeah, I like playing these games. I mean, this one's not super short, but uh, I like these shorter games a lot because they're actually really neat to stream. When we played that library game, that was amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A Place Forbidden was 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 an actual game I was super interested in. That uh, was just super cool. I, I, I'm going to try to, like, find more games that are in, like, that two to three hour range. This one I said it was about four hours, but I figure, like, that's four hours plus, like, you know, dicking around time. I kind of wish I had. I, I kind of wish I had streamed um, one shot. So that was a game I really, really liked. That's like kind of. Oh, I hate to say this, but it's like likable in the same sort of way that people like Undertale because it's like kind of, you know, it goes beyond your expectations, sort of, if you will. Yeah. Um, and I really liked it, but I don't think I could stream it because I already played it. So I my expectations have already been like, you know. Met? Like yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like I already got the surprise, and it was amazing when it happened. But I wouldn't be able to play the game again and have the same sort of experience. I feel like streaming it would be weird. So that's like one of those games where, like, I don't know. I wish you could wipe my memory. I think you would have to be someone who hasn't played it before to stream it. How, how long yeah. is uh, how long is it? Oh, uh, one shot. Yeah. <laughs> one shot. I think it's like kind of. That's hard to answer, but eight hours, I'll say. Less than eight hours. Okay. Yeah, I'll put it on my wish list. I have, I have a massive list of, like, games to... Uh, one's hot. Uh, <laughs> the game's called One's Hot. I have, like, an actual little, like, note right here that I've been keeping lists of games that, like, might be good stream games. Yeah, um, I think it would be... I think it's a it's a cute and good stream game. It's, it's a pretty harmless, like, I don't know. I almost want to say childish game. Um, so to speak, it doesn't deal with super heavy subjects, but it is a little. It has a few things that are a little unnerving, I guess. You know um, what? You know what? I need to stream still. Uh, uh, Overwatch. Close. Undertale. Wrong. Wrong direction. Uh, okay. Uh, the reason I need to stream is because I've literally never played Undertale. Oh, that's kind of cool. So I've I've been like, oh, I should do like an. At some point, I should hype up a big like. I'm gonna do an Undertale stream. It's gonna be me playing the game. For the, the, for the first time, but you have to do it like spoiler free without people like telling you what to do and stuff, though. Yeah, yeah, I'll and I, I know I know enough about the game that it's probably fine, but yeah, like, that, but like I, I, it would I be nice. The game. It would Sorry. be nice to play it without people telling me yeah, what's I, happening. I'm really glad I played and enjoyed the game before like anyone seemed to really know about it because I played it and enjoyed it like immediately after it came out. 
And it wasn't until like two or three weeks later that, that Undertale just like exploded. And then it created like this fandom that immediately turned into like the worst fandom. So but, um, two things hmm? two things about that. One, my experience was I played the, uh, the teaser demo, whatever, and I was like, this game's cute. And then it came out and I was like, oh cool, I can't wait to play this. Uh, and then it got popular and I was like, uh, like I hate playing when things are popular because then like everybody talking about the game kind of like creeps into my experience of it it's not even yeah. like a hipstery thing it's just like i it's why i play yeah, no, no, so no, many 100%. things it's why i play so many things or watch so many things after the hype has died down because yeah. then it's like okay cool now i can enjoy this without thinking about like everybody's like opinions of it but yeah, undertale no, never fair. died down <laughs> so i just never yeah, played that's it fair. yeah it, it's because it has a fandom and it's 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 kind of the result of the uh homestuck fandom and all that people who have who are in a fandom for a living yeah um <laughs> and, and the other story to that is king uh my 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 boyfriend's boyfriend uh was telling me about how when the game came out he played it and it was like it was in that same like first week thing that like you had mentioned and he was like holy shit like this game's like really good man i i really hope this game gets some kind of a fandom so i have other people i can oh, talk to yeah. about it for oh, and no. he was like he's like that is he's like that is like one of my top monkey's paw moments it's yeah, just yeah. like that's i hope this game I, I hope people play this game i was also one of those people who was like oh my god people should play this game it's so smart and it's so clever and then like two weeks later i was like god i hope no one saw that i played that because i don't want anyone, <laughs> any of these people to talk because to stereotypes ever. hurt not you don't once. want to be stereotyped not once and, it, and i think ultimately one of the things that made me really bummed out about the whole like undertale fandom thing uh which is just ugh, uh was the fact that i feel like um i feel like my experience with people who were really, really, really excited about Undertale and were in, like in the Undertale fandom, so to speak, after playing it, was that you would be like, oh my god, you should try this game, this other game that does something really, really, really cool. And they would be like, no, yeah, I only play Overwatch. And then you'd be like, you liked one interesting game and you go back to Destiny 2 or whatever? <laughs> like, dude! <laughs> They're like, the... The like assumption that that's like the only game that's ever done anything interesting. <laughs> yeah, no, it's no, like... I, I definitely do. It's like it's the fandom, just like this is the one game, and therefore I don't want to like air quotes ruin it by like playing other games. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it, and that's actually one of the reasons why I always feel weird about One Shot because it actually came out very in like a similar time, like not super close together, but. And it is actually super similar too, because uh, uh, they're both based on like the same game, basically, uh, or the same games. Um, and so it's similar. And I'm always like, oh man, everyone's just gonna look at that as though it's like an Undertale ripoff or something like that. Like anything that's like, you know, uh, anything that's like top-down view, etc. In that sort of way, people are like, oh, it's just an Undertale clone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Harney B, you know, I actually don't have beef against uh, Homestuck fans, mostly because there's a lot of them, and I think they could kill me, so. Oh, yeah, they, they could, even just by pure they, they could, psychic they could power. and would kill me. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think without the important second, thing here is that they would actually kill you. Yeah, they would absolutely gladly kill me without a second of hesitation, so I, I have zero problem with Homestuck, it's fine. All right. I think I'm going to hop off chat. Uh, next week, I will be doing Saturday again, like for my short game stream. But I will be playing John Woo's Stranglehold, the video game sequel to his movie Hard Boiled. <laughs> nice. Uh, what the hell? And, yeah, That's a thing? Yeah. John Woo produced a video game that is a sequel mm. to a, a movie he made in the 90s. 
That sounds kind of cool, actually. Yeah, no, I'm like super interested in it. I think JJ Signal is actually the person who like, talked to me about it. Oh, JJ Signal. Oh, JJ Signal actually knows a lot of weird, obscure shit like that that winds up being kind of cool. Yeah, I think that's. I think that like that sort of kind of cool is exactly the kind of thing that JJ Signal just always like. No, that's why like when JJ Signal recommended, it, I was like, I'll check it out, and I played like a bit of it and looked into it, and I was like, oh yeah, this game looks fucking dope. I I will <laughs> I will do a short game stream of it because it's like five hours i think so I'd probably do like a six oh, hour perfect. stream yeah so i'll probably uh who's yeah. gonna be on it you're absolutely welcome nice. to join uh cool. people are asking to watch it first i don't know if you need to baru and i are planning on rewatching hard-boiled the week before so that way it's film fresh critters. on our minds yeah so that it, it's basically gonna be a film critters special stream <laughs> so everybody should join everybody should join our discord uh but thank you for coming out everyone you could uh yeah you could have me you could have me in um in chat uh while you two are talking and then i can just be the um offensive youtube comments uh under your oh video. yeah you could be like typing like uh shut up woman <laughs> yeah yeah that's it you got it ah uh, i hate when you talk <laughs> stop having uh a video on the internet that i can look at <laughs> oh i Okay, my favorite, like, hate comment I ever got was somebody, like, added me in Baru this, like, massive paste bin document explaining why we were wrong to say that Fight Club was gay. That's, well, the most amazing thing about that is, like, it's handing someone the response, like, handing someone the keys to the response, why is this a paste bin? Yeah. And I think he realized that because I clicked on it, sent it to Peru, and within two minutes when I went to go click on the tweet to send it to someone else, he had like already deleted it and then deleted his account <laughs> like an hour later. That's just so embarrassed that he like deleted his presence because of it. I've always, so I, I know this is an unpopular opinion, but like, the the way people on uh, the way people on Twitter like think that harassing quote unquote celebrities is is always okay is always so funny because like whenever a celebrity will like resp reply to or tag someone who was yelling at them they're always like wow how could they yeah oh no I my 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 rule with that is that like if I'm gonna scrap with like a famous person on Twitter. I have to be fully willing to deal with the consequences of them mobilizing their six-digit follower base against me. <laughs> what and if it's not, like... and if it's like not worth it, I'm just like, okay, it's not worth it. <laughs> what was the guy? Who, what was the guy's name? Who um, he's like, he sucks so bad that he's not a real Baldwin. Oh, is that... uh, that's the Alex. Not it's Alex. I whatever, think. Whatever, whatever, whatever. The the, the false Baldwin, the loser one. Yeah, the false yeah, yeah. Baldwin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that guy. I got in a big Twitter argument with one time. <laughs> Let me tell you, people are people were showing up. Yeah. Days. <laughs> um. Yeah. Good stream. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. This is a fun time. Yeah. Sorry, I'm looking at photos of Emma Roberts in um Coffee Stone Hello. Before. <laughs> oh, I think that's true, Canon has been though. Yeah, and no, I think that I think that is like he's just like How embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> what a thing filled with embarrassing. What a people. thing to be the only thing people oh, know oh, about I you when they you. hear your name. I, I met a furry and they were a Jordan Peterson fan. Oh, cool. There's a lot of them. I feel like I have a weird luck where like every single furry I ever meet is like a conservative weirdo. There's it's a, amazing. Here's Here's, okay, here's the dirty little secret chat about furry. All of the, like, leftist furries on Twitter, like, are, are, are lying to you about what the furry fandom is. Oh, yeah, they, well, they literally are lying to you about like, it. It's they, like, I've seen Because it. they only associate 
with other furries with the same like with similar persuasions which is normal it is normal for you to only associate with other people whom like you have a similar like background with and like you whom you have a repertoire with but like yeah. actual furries are like overwhelmingly like apolitical or libertarian or conservative and if yeah, they're like absolutely like there are like liberal and like leftist furries like outside of that like like there's but like they tend to be of the libertarian persuasion of those like they tend to be a leftist libertarian yeah i um i've said like i've said this before when when gamergate was a thing i just remember like like 70 percent of them had personas for pictures like (laughs) and people don't believe me like fucking you know fucking Jonathan, who uses Facebook, is like, you know, actually, furries are very progressive. I was like, yeah, yeah, no, it's it's. I remember you told me that because I then I then as an experiment made my icon not a, like a fursona picture, and immediately a bunch of people who had been interacting with my tweets before but weren't following me started following me, and I was like, oh, it's because like the furry thing was like making you be like uh is this person gonna turn out to be like a libertarian <laughs> yeah absolutely and that's how i think i if i see so if i see a furry account and i don't know and i don't know them personally that could be like someone who wants to murder people no, like on the internet no like, joke for any reason. the fastest way that i vet a furry on twitter is if i look at them and people i know who aren't furries are following them Oh, that's a good one. Do I because count? because then that tells me like, like okay, adjacent. yeah. Um, I think th- I it's lost funny my, because like, not a furry wings a while ago. It's funny because like Lonnie and James and a few other people I know have said that they use me as the furry checker sometimes. Where it's like if they look at it and they're like, if Jay or Jay's friends are following this person, they're probably fine. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Totally. <laughs> it's it's like a weird two way street. Um, <laughs> But yeah, no, like, like, exactly, Canada's about to, like, exactly, like, there's, there's, like, so many just, like, because the thing about furry is that, like, there isn't, like, there, there isn't a way to gatekeep furry, because it's literally just, like, do you like cartoon animals? Yeah. It is impossible to gatekeep, so, like, that's why I get so annoyed about the, like, well, oh, furry is, like, actually, like, super leftist. It's like, no, 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 furry on Twitter is because there's a lot of furry leftists on Twitter and that's where they congregate. But like, probably 90% of furries minimum are not on Twitter. Oh yeah, absolutely. And even the ones who are, there's like a lot of psycho ones. Oh yeah, boy howdy. I mean, and even the leftist ones are often psycho. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna get in trouble for that one. Let's, 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 move, let's move on from that topic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, anyways, hello. But yeah, sorry to go on like a huge rant about it. That's just like one of those things that always sticks in my craw when I see it. Cause it's like, no, cause I remember, like I remember being around and getting interested in furry stuff before the rise of furry left his Twitter. And I'm like, that's like just not true. <laughs> like I was just like, that's just straight up not true. Yeah. The, the best you got was well, usually it's, it's, daily well, show yeah, liberals. Yeah. And, and well, you know what? Part of it is because of that same thing I was talking earlier about how uh, Twitter like tricks people into thinking that they're like working marketing and PR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they have to, and, they have to rehabilitate the furry image. Yeah, they're yeah, they're they're like they're doctoring and like you know fluffing the brand. That's what they're doing. And they don't even realize they're doing it. <laughs> and it's so bizarre to me because it's like I'm I'm fine with the progression towards like furry not being this like thing that you have to keep a massive secret from the rest of your internet identity but it is a thing where it's like but also it's not like it is not actually like leftist credentials like it is actually just a thing you are interested in yep that's it to, to me it's like it's it's like if i see someone is an overwatch fan it's like ah that person likes overwatch i hope they're not a fascist i still remember the uh, yeah yeah <laughs> That's true. I still remember the picture of Steven Universe that was like Steven Universe fan art, but it was all like, like ice agents. They were all ice dressed up as ice agents. <laughs> and I remember it because I was like, they're literally aliens. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, and 
And to be clear, all of this rant, I love, like, I love furry. I love furry culture stuff. It's great. But it's like, I don't, I do not have an interest in trying to pretend that, like, furry is something that it's not. Because furry is ultimately just, like, a, a community space to find cool and interesting people. For me, and the simple fact is, there's literally never been a space like that I've been in where there isn't a shocking amount of shitheads. I like furries. They're cute. Yeah, furries are great. <laughs> I, furries oh are my great god, are people life? talking about the, like the, the fascist, the my nationalist brony guy? I've like... Yeah. <sighs> that guy has a published book, and I desperately want to find a second-hand copy of it. Because I need that as like I need that like <laughs> that is that. that I need a physical copy of that book. That is a hundred percent the kind of insane shit that I am obsessed with. But I do not, yeah. under any circumstances, want to give that man fifteen dollars. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do with it? Another arm pat, armband, or whatever. Even if he buys Burger King, I don't want him to fucking buy a burger with my money. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you just reminded me I have impossible burger meat. Mm. Ooh. There's a book? Okay. Oh, there's there's a book. Let me find it. The shed is running long because I'm just going on uh, longer. Uh, Buttercup yeah, Dew, you're... by the way, is his name. Uh, not only is there a book, here it is on bookshop.org, which is extremely funny, actually. My nationalist pony. Oh, goodness. Oh goodness. Thirty thirty six dollars. Or nineteen twenty for paperback. It's available. I could buy it right now. Yeah, but still that's giving that person money. Yeah, no, I gotta yeah, this, this is I feel like this is like J J J Bear Hat stream after dark. Yeah. We're I'm, just like, I'm we're now checking for shit. I'm literally looking up used copies of this book. <laughs> this is a uh, this is like the backstage pass experience. We're just you know milling around <laughs> after the after the stream's over. Oh, you know, just on eBay. I'll keep that in mind. Who wants more free game industry advice or food advice? <laughs> Dude, that food I made was so good. <laughs> Why is this right. book so expensive? Yeah, good question. Why is the book so expensive? It's, Flinch! It's... Flinch wants me to drink. Uh, oh, uh, give me another edible. Kill here, that. <laughs> I like the concept that I could just be like, tap, 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 give me another edible. Yeah, and, happen. <laughs> and it happens. Alright, chat, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna end this. Thank you for coming out, everybody. Have a good night. Night, bye. Thank you for coming.